Don't go. Stay with me, says Dexter to Hannah. It's a pretty emotional uh, ending you, you got there, Wendy West. Sitting here with, uh, with Wendy West, writer of that episode. Uh, what's the title? It's called Are We There Yet? Are We There Yet? Which we'll get to that. Are we there yet? Yeah, we'll, we'll get to that later on in the, uh, in the interview. Um, great episode. Holy cow, <laughs> watching Dexter uh, forsake everything. I'm laughing because it feels like you're saying to me, don't go, don't go. Stay. stay with And me. given that these are our last days in the office, <laughs> it has like an extra resonance to it, you know? It's funny. Awesome. Yeah, yeah, this is the end, uh, end of Dexter. I know, altogether. packing up our offices. Yeah. It's weird. Yeah. Yeah, we've been here a long time. Yeah, I've been uh, eight, eight or seven and a half seasons. You've been here four, five, and a half, five. five yeah. yeah, it's oh, a lot right. to pack up. It is, especially your office. No, you had like cool stuff, cool stuff, yeah. and stuff that just kept arriving. No, <laughs> <laughs> notes from Clyde from season four. <laughs> yeah, those were fun. <laughs> It was fun to it was fun to find network notes on my first script, which there were none. Which is, oh. I literally taped them up because I knew that would never happen again. <laughs> <laughs> it was the episode I wrote with Melissa. Right. Um, Dex takes a holiday. Right, it was right, so funny right. to find. We think the script is great. We're gonna give notes at the table read. L- literally, it's never happened again. Never, happened to anyone. <laughs> never ever, ever again. <laughs> but that's okay. That's the process. Yeah, Making it's all TV. good. Yeah. Let's talk about this episode. Okay. Um, great. This was. Uh, Let's talk about this relationship uh, between Zach and Dexter. Because mm. the episode starts with with a crime scene, which mm-hmm. is a, a very familiar sort of thing on the show. Mm-hmm. You know, Dexter walking in to uh, basically his apartment. Mm-hmm. And there's dead Cassie, the, na- the, the hot neighbor. Mm-hmm. And his worst fear is that this person he's been mentoring, training, right. has committed this crime. And, it, and for, for me, and I think for a couple other people, this was... A story we were really interested in telling this yes. season in particular of Dexter having um, Dexter actually passing on his code, passing on his legacy yes. to someone because we don't really think Harrison is that person, although to be determined could easily. Right. Um, turn He's so out young. That way. No He's you so would young. Know. You would yeah. never know. But we were interested to see um, uh, what what it would look like for Dexter to become a Harry in some senses to someone. Right. And that kind of Frankenstein story then of, of when you create something, um, does it, does it take on a power of its own that either will destroy you or you will be forced to destroy it. Yeah. And when Dexter walks into that crime scene, he feels like he will have to destroy his creation. Yeah. And, and, it, a, and a certain, to a certain extent, it's his fault. Totally. Because he was not, completely consumed by his the thought of his legacy he was right. consu- he was becoming consumed by this relationship with right. Hannah this right. thing that he's never experienced before just subs- which is certainly taking over uh, his his desires in a way he never anticipated yeah. which is an- another interesting question too but um, we got real lucky with um, Zach Underpants I mean Sam, Sam Underwood <laughs> which I always call S- uh, Zach Underpants to his great horror I understand <laughs> yeah we talk all about it don't worry in the, in the latter half just really super talented guy a, we yeah, got great. so lucky getting him and I guess this is one of his first TV things and um, he and Michael together I couldn't actually tell if Michael was really annoyed with this with him as a person because they had this wonderful chemistry as characters where they were and it was this yeah. this strange it was exactly the dynamic we were hoping for of this strange pride like this is kind of what I've created and this complete and utter you know lack of patience for this child who is just <laughs> excited by fast cars and girls and tools and killing and and just you know the 22 year old hormones yeah. exactly yeah. yeah which which is a fun thing to watch Dexter go up against this version you know it's he I think in some ways Zach is is sort of close to who Dexter was in the beginning of, of Dexter season yes. one. You know, he, Zach, I think is more plugged into people, um, than, than Dexter ever was, but there's that certain, um, uh, compartmentalization, that certain fascination with death and that certain excitement for all things, um, uh, related to their favorite pastime, which was yeah. a fun thing to see yeah. Dexter come up against because he hasn't really felt that in so long, you know, this yeah. season especially. So especially, yeah, normally he meets someone like this and yeah. he, he deads them. Yeah, <laughs> yes, fa- well said. As fast as possible. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> but not Zach. Not Zach. So he has this sort of, uh, <coughs> she's uh, not sick, <laughs> so no sick, one get worried. I'm not sick, it's allergies. Yep, yep. No. So you're not, no, one's, no one out there in podcast land is going to get sick. No. Um, it sounds not so good, though. But there's this, uh, so there's this poll for Dexter between Hannah and Zach. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, family, Deb. Mm-hmm. Um, 
Well, family is, it's interesting because that's, that's right. almost no, exactly right. what we were going for in yeah. this episode, which with De- Dexter realizes he sort of created this family of killers in a yes. sense with Hannah, with Zach and the whole, you and know, Dr. Vogel and Dr. Vogel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Which is the whole joke behind, you know, the most um, used trope in road trips. Are we there yet? Is that it's supposed to be the Dexter version of that. Here are three killers coming back from one of them, not killing the other to having dinner with their um, mother who certainly knows everything about Their them. Maker, it's, yeah, of, yeah, it's an interesting, it's a total, um, it's not a total mirror, but it was an interesting reflection, I guess, to the, to the Thanksgiving episode, which was yes. our other big dinner. I was going to ask you about that. Yeah, you, uh, our other big dinner. <laughs> if it's a Wendy West episode, there's going to be a big meal. And a road trip, it seems <laughs> like. It's trip. weird. Oh, right. This episode yeah. had like, like weirdly, <laughs> just ha- it's however the dice fell. It's not that we manufactured it to be that way, but. Um, how, how do you feel it reflected into the uh, Thanksgiving meal? I think in Thanksgiving it, there was a, such a tension of when's this when is the um, when is this going to explode? Right. And you just n- knew the minute they sat down something really bad was going to happen, which was the fun of the scene. Yeah. And I, I mean I know I've said this before, but the best part about that whole shoot was like the joy that Michael and Lithgow had together, and yeah. the fact that they would you know Michael's got him got his belt round, wrapped around his neck and he's dragging him across the floor and then they, you know, John Dahl yells cut and then they just like start cracking up and it's the most, <laughs> you know, it's just like weirdly joyous. Yeah. Not even weird, totally joyous atmosphere. And then here they, here's Dexter again sitting at a meal with with more than one killer. Where, yeah. and and interestingly that that is the, you know, there's no, la- there's, there's a lack of tension because everyone, all secrets are laid bare. Yeah. Um, and it's, I guess the, what I like is is seeing um, Dr. Vogel um, relate to Hannah and evaluate her. You know, is she good enough for my <laughs> quote unquote son? You know, yeah. um, and I guess it, it's it's a much uh, it's a much calmer, quieter piece that should reflect where Dexter is um, emotionally with his family. He's more comfortable. It's calmer. It's quiet. And it's yeah. it's a home I don't think he ever expected. And it's just this heartbeat where he has it. And yeah. he you know seeks connection so much and unexpectedly has found it at this table with these women and this this young protege of his you yeah. know and yet then by the end of it there is that moment where he thinks oh, uh, who killed Cassie now yeah. yeah yeah who set him up yeah. somebody else is out there there's another there's a yeah the storm's which, coming yeah which, but yeah. which normally in Dexter's life it would be oh let's play let's yeah. get this guy and, yeah, uh, much more of a sense I guess of protecting his family in yeah. some way in a way that we haven't um it just has a different overtone given that the family is of killers and not of Rita and yeah. Aster and Cody. And you had a hotel room in this episode. Yeah. Lots of hotel rooms know. this season. The arts department was like, yeah. how many hotels are we going to have? <laughs> more. All of them. We got some more coming. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, let's talk about uh, through the Hannah part of all of this. You know, he's, um, he's certainly an, un- you know, we've, we've often talked about how Dexter is an unreliable narrator. Yeah. When he's, when he's talking, we hear his voice over and he's, telling us what he's thinking um there's that moment where where he goes to hannah and he's like i gotta keep you safe come with me on a kill lying (laughs) all lying i basically just wanted to be close to you i like to be in your orbit yeah because you're beautiful and i like the way you make me feel (laughs) i think that's it which which we've never seen with dexter (laughs) yeah yeah it's very it's very fun it's fun too because my you know michael is such a, a gifted brilliant actor and to be able to see him play these different um uh, different tones, you know, different notes in a script too. Yeah. Like it's much more of a, uh, I don't want to say romantic comedy cause it's not it's, that, it, but it certainly has it those sort of overtones is. where it's like, I'm going to tell you a lie to get you in my car so I can spend a night with you that I have no business spending with you yeah. at all. In a hotel you know? room. In a hotel room. <laughs> That's actually a kill room. Right, That's right. A, I mean, it's, it's like taking all the normal, you're right, it is romantic comedy, all yeah, the normal tropes is, and yeah. then like Tur- Turning them. them, yeah. Putting them through like the Dexter filter or lens yeah. or something, yeah. Um, so, Z- so he finds out, so Dexter's on the hunt for Zach. Yeah, which I, I think he has failed. mixed emotions about. Yeah. yeah, I think he knows that he, he must. Is. You're right. He's a little sad about this thing. Yeah, it's not a joyous thing to have to kill your creation, you know? Yeah. I know he must do it. It's it's a it's a liability of epic proportions to have out there, but. It's a little Abraham Isaac thing going mm, on there. Totally, yeah. 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 Kill your son. Yeah. Okay. okay. Gotta do it. Don't want it, though. Yeah. Mm. Breaks into the room completely, or was sitting there waiting. Yeah. And, with uh, his lady. With his lady yeah. in the hotel room. <laughs> yeah. She's got other ideas. Remember yeah. the last time? Yeah. We were in her plastic room. That was fun. Yeah. Uh, and then Zach comes in, 
And the big surprise is... Wait a minute. Yeah. I didn't do it. Yeah, he didn't... He but has, I did kill somebody. I did kill somebody. Yeah. <laughs> and he's actually in the truck. <laughs> I, I love stories that are like that, that are like just problem after problem after problem, and how do we solve it, solve it, solve it. Like Raising Arizona. Like, yes. I love that movie, and I love that kind of a storytelling where it's like, we've created a problem which has a consequence, which is a larger problem. And I felt like any any time we can have those bits of that in this story, it's yeah. fun. Like when, like in... Um, Just when you think you understand something, nope, you don't. Like yeah. everything is illuminated. Like that was the idea of that script that like, what what happens when, when Dexter has two different problems that go wrong at the same time. Like somebody gets escapes from his kill table just as um, this woman calls him and says, I've killed somebody and I need your help. Right. Um, and so I guess this had echoes of that too, of, yeah. of, of what, now that he's relieved on one level that Zach didn't kill this person, but oh my God, now we've got this whole other problem yeah. to solve. And Zach is, is so amazing. It's, Underwood's so right. amazing in that moment. Underpants. <laughs> no, Underwood. <laughs> Pants. Wood. No, that's, <laughs> Pants now it's just worse. Weird. Stop. Um, <laughs> Uh, we get to this point where he opens that trunk to show Dexter. Yeah. And he's so proud. Sean. Sean, <laughs> name for our post supervisor, Sean Peterson. We had to kill somebody named Sean. With his permission. Oh, he yeah, sure. Of course. Yeah, it wasn't an anger. Dead shot. No, no, anger no. Anger kill. It's an homage. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so it's a lot, it's, yeah, it's a very, very fun moment. And then Dexter Fall gets to be teacher once again. Yeah. Of the fun stuff, too. Yeah. Yeah. It was a different incarnation of the story. Where we were, we were wondering what what would happen if Dexter even went so far as to show him how to, how the, how to do a kill right. properly. Do right it. in and the it room, was, it was a big it was a big yeah it was uh, a big discussion we had yeah yeah like he comes in with a body yeah exactly who's not dead yeah and 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 how does Dexter then teach that person to do that yeah, you know yeah. um, so it was just it was an interesting um, evolution of the story finding out you know deciding when to cut into the when do we find Zach and what point do we cut into his story has he killed yeah. someone has he not killed someone ultimately it sort of I guess it sort of felt a little more real that he didn't exactly know how to do this yet and yeah, so but would have tr given it the old college try yeah yeah, <laughs> yeah. yeah. so when he, you know when he went off to try to kill the guy thumped him a little too hard perhaps it spoke to his yeah. impetuous nature which is um, what Dexter's always wrestling with is can this kid control his urges? And it was fun to decide, no, I guess he didn't control it. He just <laughs> did it anyway. Consequences be damned. But you know? someone who someone who deserved it. Yeah. He he understood he, the code yeah. on a molecular level almost and went off and did it. Yeah. Um so Dexter helps him get rid of the body, tells Hannah to stay here. So let's talk about Hannah. Yeah. Um and Deb. Yeah. Because Deb fun. was a giant part. Like, this is sort yeah. of like a this is sort of the moment when Deborah seems starts to feel the pull of the, of being a cop again. Yeah. A little bit, you well, know, like also, at the very top of the episode, she's walking that crime scene and she's, yeah, she's, she's very much so. in it like a detective. Yeah. You know, she has to sort of pull herself out of it when she realizes, oh no, I'm not a cop. Yeah. And I also, also speaking about the relationship between the two of them, this is the first between time. Between who? Um, between Deb and Hannah. It's Deb the first Hannah, time right. they've um, been able to confront each other yeah. <laughs> since Hannah tried to kill her. <laughs> yeah. That little thing. Yeah. Um, and I thought these two actors played it, you know, wonderfully and it's so it's so fun to see them together because they um managed to convey on screen this this weird um uh tolerance which does not include like for each right. other and yeah. i love it yeah, yeah. <laughs> i love it's because it they both like someone else yeah and we've all had friends like that and that's the <laughs> argument that hannah ultimately uses on deborah yeah. in this episode to convince um her to let's see if we can live with a small detente because we love Dexter. We both love yeah. Dexter. And it's, you know, the one argument Deborah can't really argue with, even though I don't think in a million years Deborah Morgan thought she would be aiding and abetting not one, but two serial killers. Yeah. Um, three. And three. With Dexter, I love yeah. it. And, and yeah, with Zach. Like, who the heck are you? Who the heck are you? Um, um, and it's it's... It's always, you know, it's it's been, you know, Deborah's had an amazing journey. She had a good journey this episode because she, sure she, she just, she yeah. and Elway just want to, yeah, take her, take Hannah out, get yeah. her out, protect her brother. And her relationship with Elway is kind of what highlights how much um, it, it shines a spotlight on how much she wants to be a cop and go after truth and not she doesn't give a crap about money like yeah. he does and it, and she does get care about. I think she does care about justice and doing the right thing and having actions that have. Um, meaning in the world, which is why it's also galling that she's got to compartmentalize this other relationship with uh, <laughs> knowing knowing that she's protecting ha Deborah and um, sorry Dexter and Hannah, which is um, challenging. Too. But it's something we all do. That's what sort of yeah. That's what we can all sort of connect with because yeah. we we come and maybe not on that level. Sure, <laughs> but we all compartmentalize yeah. things. Yeah, try to to various degrees mm -hmm. of success. Um, yeah. 
So, uh, let's talk about uh, Quinn, Jamie, and Deborah. Fun. Yeah. The other approaching storm. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, Rob G. <laughs> Sorry, Rob G. Rob G wants to have a child just so he could have a nanny like Jamie. Yeah. Who <laughs> wouldn't? <laughs> she's, um, she's all that. And a bag of chips. Like yeah, she's, so it's, yeah, but it's fun to watch now. Uh, there's always been this... This, this tension between Jamie and Quinn from you know, yeah. I think the very I think first Jamie episode knows almost. that he still is in love with Deb. Yeah. And and you know, Des always plays it exactly like that. That every time he is in a scene with um every time that Quinn is in a scene with Deborah, there's he just every once in a while you you, you cut to him and he's just looking at her with yeah. this How can I help? Love. How can I yeah. help? <laughs> and it's it's fun what to see that relationship evolve again. Yeah. You know. Uh, now that they're both older, wiser. Because now Jamie has moved in. Mm. She's moved in with Quinn, although right. not for long because she seems to be moving back in with Batista. Oh, right. yeah, <laughs> She's not yeah, moving yeah. in. She's just spending the night. But Hanging out. <laughs> she, I think, realizes that she perhaps has made a mistake. But <laughs> moving's a pain, as we all know right now, <laughs> moving our offices. Um, how about the title? Let's talk about Are that we title. I mean, we sort of, we did a little bit at the beginning, but that yeah. was uh, that was a Jay Switchdale pitch. That's right. We were, it was a Saturday. 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 Oh God, it was a Saturday. Yeah, we're all in the room. Not it was all just, of us. Just no, like a few just of a, us. Just you, me, Jason, Jen. I think. Yeah, yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yeah. Sort of rebreaking us, yeah. a story. Yeah. As as happens on TV it's again true. and again. We're all in shorts. Yeah. Were Exciting. We all in shorts? I don't think Jace is in shorts. Jace no. probably wasn't he in shorts. He doesn't wear shorts. No, I don't think so. he doesn't. I think he wears pants when he swims. Um, now, now I'm totally vis- imagining him like in chinos, <laughs> just doing hey the guys, crawl. Yeah. <laughs> um, he, uh, you know, he comes from uh, sitcoms, so yeah. he throws out jokes, cracks us up all the time. Thank God. And he just sort of that line was just sort of an aside about yeah. that drive home after yeah. after Dexter and uh, uh, after Dexter's Dexter got and Hannah Zach. Well, yeah, and Zach, yeah. But he he gets rid of the body with yep. with Zach. Comes back, picks up his, picks up, uh, finds out that Deb is there. Yeah, Every, everything's all screwed everything's up and crazy. Out. Yeah, but it works out. They're driving home, and then he just threw that little line out, and it seemed. I remember watching you, and it yeah. seemed like everything suddenly came together for you. It's, exa- it's exactly right. That was exactly the moment the episode came into sharp focus. I was yeah. like, I know exactly what this episode is because you. I knew that I needed. We needed as a group to get these characters to that place emotionally, yeah. and we were starting them far away from that place. Yeah. And so suddenly I thought, oh, this is such a gift because we know what the arc of this episode is. Like we want to go from, um, you know, thinking thinking you have no, Dexter thinking he has no family, no connections, nothing right. at all to this this crazy archetypal moment on a road trip with the little kid in the back seat, you know, yeah. kicking the back seat. Are we there yet? Yeah. And it was this just, thing that Dexter thought he would never have. Because I mean, that, yeah. that is the theme of, the, yes, of everything with Dexter, right. that he wants right. to be, from the very first season, he wants to be connected. Loved. He wants to, I yeah. heart Dexter. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Suddenly, they got you a car of that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah. And so here he is. Yeah. In this moment. It, it really was, like, amazing, because it, it, I saw it lock on you. Yeah. And you were like, oh! <laughs> I get it now. Probably just like that. Yeah, actually. Yeah, it was. No, it really was. Because we were all sort of swimming around this thing. We I knew know, like Saturday. plot moves, sort of, but we didn't have the theme of it yeah. so much. You know? Did you feel that way too when we were breaking it? Did you think? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now we it's all. Like, it felt yeah, like yeah. the room. Like. Got it at that moment, yeah. you know. And of course, Jace is like, "Yeah, no, that's good." He's like, "I don't know, it's kind of a cliche." <laughs> we're like, and there was a little bit yeah. of a fight in the room too about about that afterwards. The next day, when we pitched it out, like, is that a cliche? And it's like, because no, we not. initially, when we and then when we pitched it out, we initially left that scene out of it. And I was like, "No, <laughs> we've got to put this little heartbeat of a scene in." And, yeah, and, and, and you no, fought it's for nothing. it. Yeah, but, but it, it is something. It well, is. we need. We also the great thing is we needed to sell time driving yeah. back up um, to Miami, and so that was a fun, easy a shorthand way to do it because the drive down is it feels like it's half the episode and then bloop they're just right back up there you know so which then leads them to the uh, the the, the last supper the last supper the last supper for Zach anyway there was a I know it's I don't think it quite made it into the cut but they're they're um, at least on set when um, Dr. Vogel was meeting Hannah like Charlotte just did this this withering appraisal of her <laughs> where she just she just shook her hand and she looked her up and down and it was like ugh, like I'm so, I don't know if you're worthy of my shoe much less my quote unquote son but you know she's I mean you really appreciate what a gifted actress she is yeah. but she just takes a, a line like hello and just makes it into this you know 
I think like a, like a good mother does, this very protective mother, this appraisal of the woman that he loves. So it, sort of like in know. that episode, Dr. Vogel accepts this role in some ways, I guess, huh? At, yeah, that, at that dinner, passing out shepherd yeah. pie. Yeah. Yeah. I think, I think it's a role she's wanted, too, you know, yeah. given her complicated past. Yeah. Whatever that may be. Um, and then uh, <coughs> Masuka and Nikki. How much fun are they? Super fun, right? Super fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. He finally, he brings her into the to the station. Yeah. And there's connection too. I yeah. mean, sort of this little family thing is running all yeah. through through the. Uh, it's almost like yeah. planned it. I love watching their dailies too because no matter what Dora throws at Charlie or CS, um, just rolls with it. Yeah. Makes it makes it awesome too. Like yeah. they just play together so well. Yeah. That's they're really good. they're really fun. Um, let's talk about. Uh, I mean, no, I feel like that's. That's uh, the episode, sort okay. of in a nutshell. Um, working with the directors, yeah, it's very important to you. Uh, very, very important. We want to talk to about everyone, I think. Oh, yeah, to everyone. Yeah. It is, it is. But uh, want to talk about that a little bit about in your interaction from beginning to end? Because we, because sure. we in the in the room, you know, we spend days and days talking about these things endlessly. Yeah. And then a director gets a script, and they get you know eight days to prep it. Yeah. To, and they're thinking technical and all this. Sure. So it's sort of up to the writer to... Well, I think certain... Like, I'm thinking of your 705 last year, which, you know, Ernest just did a spectacular yeah. job directing. And you you were very careful, I think, about what you wanted and what you guys wanted to see. And you guys worked out this amazing sequence where Isaac... This is when Isaac comes in right. and kills... Um, the Colombian bar. Kills everyone yeah. in the bar. And it's told uh, through Dexter narrating it. Yeah. Um, and so you're... He's talking about the forensics, but then we're seeing the, the action happen. And I thought that was a great... That's a great example of, you know, a, yeah, we work a together, director, like, yeah, material yeah. writer, all coming together really well. Because, I mean, you also have a very cinematic sensibility, too. And Ernest, I, there's and not people amazing. better at action, yeah. you know. <laughs> um, and uh, I think when, so to get to your question, I think a couple things. When I, when I sit down with a director, one, you know, they have a skill set I don't have. And I right. totally appreciate it. And I'm so thankful for it. Like, I... So you're not going to direct? I, if I, I would do the most pedestrian job. I know <laughs> I know how to do a camera. I know coverage. I know what yeah. you need. I know what I need on a set to walk away from to be able to edit a scene. I, I know that. Yeah. But when you work with someone like John Dahl, like Ernest Dickerson, like Holly Dale, they yeah. have this, um, Steve Schill, this, uh, this, this, this other fluidity thing, and yeah. this grace that um, I, I wouldn't even know to think of. Um, and so on, on that level, I know they will do a great job. Right. And um, I just try to talk about the emotional intent of a scene, the arc of an episode, um, certain things to make sure we get out of, out of a scene, you know? Yeah. Um, like we, when we were doing the Are You There Yet take, like, right. like it was important, I thought, to try to get a couple different takes. One where Zach is completely serious, one where he knows he's saying the cliche. And then it was important to get Dexter and Hannah's reaction in that, too. Because yeah. they, they, either, they either are along with the ride or they're along with the ride and they know, they know that they are. And I think that's where we ended up in the cut, that um, um, they are, they had just a moment of, uh, of, of appreciating the, the every day, you know, which I think is, what, I don't know, I guess I feel like you can see that with them. They're just, their actors are probably like, please call cut so we can get out of this car. <laughs> um, but I guess I just, you know, I feel like that's what we can sit, we can do, communicate best as writers. What's the intent of a scene? Where yeah. did it come from? What are we hoping to get out of it? Why is it important to the story? Um, yeah, it's, yeah. Yeah. It's, I, I always yeah. feel like you do it really well. Yeah. That's very nice of you to say. Yeah. Uh, well, thanks a lot, Wendy West, for coming in, talking us through it's 808. Exciting. Are we there yet? 808, uh, Heartbreak. Yeah. It's not the Kanye West record. Your near almost last episode I of know, Dexter ever. So weird. Yeah. Yeah. There's another one coming down the pike, though. It's true. So it'll, and it's good. Assuming Tim and I both survive. <laughs> to be Schlotman determined. West. Oh, my God. Fight. Let the blood begin. <laughs> the blood letter. Uh, up next, we're going to spend some time with uh, Sam Underwood. Sam Underpants. Himself. Yeah, and he can talk about what a bully you are. I know. I wouldn't say bully. <laughs> he does. I know. <laughs> Thanks again, Wendy. Thanks, Scott. Thanks, right. Rob. Hey, we're sitting here with uh, Sam. Nice. No, <laughs> <laughs> we were just talking, Sam Underwood. Hello, yeah. Sam Underwood. No, 
Yeah, Un- no, yeah, yeah, you're right. Yeah, my name's Sam Underwood. Yeah, it yep. is Sam Underwood. Yep, it is. So suddenly, yes. I had this thought of underpants in my head. You know what? You, you, so, and that's you're... because of Wendy West. Oh, okay. Blame Wendy who West. Who says she was the writer of uh, episode 808. Right. Right? Yeah. Who says, uh, what's the name of that episode? It's um, the one everyone just watched. It's, uh, what's your line in the car? I'm giving you something. What? The title are of the we, episode are, are is- Are we there oh, yet? Yeah, yeah. There we go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you thought you called me Sam Underpants as- as? No, no. I actually got a little confused. I actually, honestly, okay, okay. I heard her just in the hallway just a second ago. She was right. like, oh. Look at Sam Underpants. Oh, I see, I see, I see. You know, you and so suddenly every... it just completely. I just uh, sorry about you. You're overwhelmed. Like every childhood bully I ever had as a kid. Great. So now uh, Wendy West can be added to that. She, she, she is she writer is. slash bully. Total bully. All right. Well, that's good to know. <laughs> um, and you've been playing the role of Zach Hamilton. I certainly have. Um, want to talk about Zach Hamilton a little bit? Or... Go for it. So uh, I was going to ask you some questions. So our first introduction of of, uh, of uh, Zach Hamilton is mm-hmm. the sort of creepy kid hanging out by a pool. Absolutely. Yeah. Yeah. He, yeah he's um. You know, you, you literally see him lurking around. You know, the place while his dad's being questioned by by the police, the, and yes. um, he makes a bit of a dramatic, creepy uh, entrance into the into the scene, which was a lot of fun to do. Um, but. Yeah, he he definitely makes his mark as a bit of a creepster from the yeah. very beginning. Yeah, yeah. there's like something off about this guy, and then yeah, yeah. And which which uh, we should probably pause on this Zach Hamilton thing to let people understand. You're not. You're a Brit. I'm. I. I am. I'm originally from the UK. That's a so. very uh, very good accent you had going on. Thank you. There. Thank yeah, you. I think a lot of people had no idea. Yeah, it was only until the, like the second read through. Yes, well, and then everyone started like kind of making little comments, and I was like, "No, I don't want, don't want the directors to know." And that was Wendy West again. She was, was bullying you yeah, again, wasn't she? From 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 the second episode, she was. She really went. She's she's been after me for a while, actually. <laughs> That's why they killed me off. Oh, I, I get it. Yeah, I get it. Um, no, and actually, like I, I, I was, I found myself full out <laughs> fibbing to the cast. Like, yeah. they're like, "Where are you from?" I'm like, oh, New York. Like right. you know, full out. Which where you came? You, you just came from right. there. You yeah. live. Is that where your primary yeah. residence is? Yeah, I live in New York. Yeah. All right. So I I found myself really telling some long stories. Like yeah, you know, yeah, I grew up in New Jersey and like, what part? <laughs> yeah, oh yeah, Hoboken. Yeah, that's where I grew up. Like, oh god, what am I doing? Hoboken. Hoboken. <laughs> yeah. And uh, so no, it was. Um, it, it when was, did you let everybody know that you were? Or you haven't yet. This is this is your. Uh, at the end of each episode, your... I would I would chat to the director and say right. thank you very much, and then go, you know, oh. well the 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 first director did um, the uh, I think John the second the director John of my set yeah John Dahl of, he knew. Of, yeah he he did know I found out afterwards um, John Dahl knows everything yeah he's he's pretty smart he's pretty smart <laughs> um, but you know I just didn't feel I especially on being on set I didn't want to be constantly transitioning between right. dialects because it just didn't want to be doing that I didn't want people to be listening right to me you know so it was um and especially with someone like with Zach the way he uh communicates with people doesn't communicate with right. people very well um I felt like I wanted to stay in that zone be a, be a little bit more method with it on set um and it wasn't until my character kind of opened up and came a, became a little bit more uh um communicative with 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 Dexter, Dexter. that I found that I was able to do that on set a bit more with people and be a bit more open so it was very interesting how um you know my comfortability level on set as zach you know kind of grew as well it was yeah. it was really interesting well it's a, it's a scary thing to come on to a show i imagine that's been around for eight oh. years and all these everyone you know in previous previous podcasts the uh, the actors have been around for a while talk about how it's like a family uh, and th- then, that's absolutely the word i'll say absolutely it was yeah i mean it's it's in and you were the psychotic stepchild right i was I mean, well and i was i one of the one of the longest arcs for a young character like guest yeah. guest roles um and what zach five six seven eight so yeah five, five six seven eight um what he in relation to dexter what he you know does in 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 relationship to De- dexter's life is you know it's kind of important and for that to be you know the final season and you know for right. this you know young kid it was definitely i felt like the stakes were very high but walking onto set everyone was so so they they just embraced new new energy That's um good. yeah but i you know just attribute to the fact that they've majority of them been working together for eight seasons and they know 
they know how it works. They do their job well, right. um, and they are um, just very open, very generous people. I mean, you know, the, it was so interesting. Michael actually never spoke to me the first day on the set. Was this at the pool or mm, at the okay. pool? Which I and I I knew I knew what he was doing. I knew that because a we don't talk to each other in the scene, and you right. know we don't know each other, and he's setting up that uh, that atmosphere between us. And it wasn't until the uh, the second day, when second day of shooting for me, where we had a scene together, that he finally introduced himself. But his his coolness on set, right? You know, when I was working with him, really helped me as an actor chill out. You know, because you're coming in super enthusiastic. You're well, you know, yeah. absolutely, and you're doing yeah. decks that, like, yeah. you know, let's be honest, like, it's yeah. one of I'm that the, way every day. I come to work. I'm like, I can't well, of, of course, you know, and what the heck? even after eight seasons, you're like, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah, and so I definitely had those moments i still do right like you know every every time a new one of the new uh recurring characters comes on that i haven't worked with i have that moment of oh it's jennifer that's awesome that's really, that's really, <laughs> hi how's it going good good nice to meet you nice to meet you hey um so it's it's been i've had my geek out moments sure but good <laughs> working working on the set seeing how cool you know david zayas has just like yeah. been so much so much fun to just have a chat with back you know backstage he's and, like everybody's big brother he he really is, yeah. and then his son, you know, me and his son David being. You should on say like his son. Device. His son is uh, does his, his double. Stand his double. Stand yeah, he's yeah. also an amazing photographer. Yeah. Um. I think he and I think he wants to go into directing as well. He's going to come over to New York. Um. No, seriously. There's there's not one. There's Desmond. Not, Desmond probably. Is well, he's one, a pain right? in the ass, but right. you know, it's it's fine because it works for his character. And you go, yeah, that's awesome. You know, like he's from Boston. Whatever. <laughs> oh, no, but he, no, he's super cool as well. Yeah, you know, yeah. like you know, it's been it's been a very very for want of a better word, very relaxed experience on set. Because yeah. when you're doing some high intensity stuff, you know. Um, you, you want to feel safe and secure around the people that you've only known for a couple of weeks. Right. I mean, when I was on the on the on the kill table, right, wrapped up in plastic. Yeah. In my second episode, that was definitely you know pretty pretty intense stuff. And Michael and I really hadn't had that the way it was shot. Really hadn't spent so much connected time right. together then. So it was, it was it sort was of an old fun. fashioned. In some ways, it was sort of an old fashioned kill. Absolutely. It was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If I found out it was Dexter, sort of. Looking to the death of Norman Rivera. Yes. And then realizing, oh, this kid and this kid's going to get away with it. Yep. No, he's not. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Um, so with a little Vogel added in there. Yeah, little, that's such an interesting, that's such an interesting stuff. relationship. So what did you know when you came on to the, to, to this, to this thing? It was, so you uh, saw like, uh, cause five, no, it's a pretty, it's a pretty, uh, what one is it, interesting, what two, yeah. but it's, it's sort of a, you know, it's like two scenes. You know, and, I, I got, all I knew from the character was what I <laughs> had in my audition sides right. which was it actually gave me you know a lot of information that i killed norma i killed right. norma, norma rivera um and my uh the complexity those even on, they didn't end up on screen the, the audition sides pretty much right or did they no did they, they what they they didn't that wasn't actually in the script the audition sides what that i killed norma uh no oh, go ahead sorry continue yeah well the, the, the i mean the audition sides yes yeah, sorry the audition sides weren't part of yes. the actual the, sorry that's what you're saying yeah, yes yeah. no it was uh a made a written scene for the audition yeah. which allowed me to you know kind of really get a sense of who this kid was how complex he was you know it really fed into um finding out you know what his urges are right. which really reminded me of like you know a, a younger dexter you know yes. those urges and how could i talk to anyone about this and but how you know, just he really has a there's like a there's a dark side to this kid already, you know, being so young um, and he's 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 very wealthy. Right. So there's a there's a there's a there's a little bit of entitlement, ent definitely yeah. entitlement. Uh, but also he doesn't know how to communicate with people. Yeah. So he has a very odd sensibility, especially at first, like he really doesn't know. He says some very awkward things. He's socially he's just socially not, you know, used to dealing with people in a very normal way because right. he he lives in a bubble, you know. He's been brought up, you know, with a lot of money, um, in a in a household where you know his dad doesn't doesn't give him the the father son love that you know he's needed. His mum's a drunk. probably from from his father's side too. He's probably looking at his son and going, "What is wrong with my child? Well, absolutely. Why doesn't he just want money? Why doesn't he party? Why doesn't he do all the stuff that normal kids do that lead towards success?" Well, yeah, yeah. and but and those aren't necessarily Zach's interests. No, not at all, not at all. But you know, it's. It, it's that part of what makes him even more 
dark and a bit awkward is that you know he's a, he's a product of his environment and right. you know when you have you live in a household with so much money and anything's any anything's able to be gotten you know you can just click your fingers and you can you have yeah. a port you're driving a porsche, driving a porsche you know porsche. um 18 years old got a 18 years yeah, like, yeah like and you know your mum's a drunk because right. the dad is sleeping around and doesn't you know there's just no With like all the help right exactly <laughs> you know so there's there's plenty of reasons why he's as messed up a, you know a kid and you know at first in the in when you when you meet Zach in in the show he's really not looking for con- connection with anyone he's right. like it's not something he's out there for he's not trying to find someone who will understand him he's actually fine i don't even know if he thinks that there is someone that can understand him. well yeah. and, until dexter comes into his life and you know at first it's just through allowing him saying hey yeah do you want to come take some pictures right. like seeing that he has a without dexter knowing a passion or something that really turns him on um you know it and you know, he seems interested in him. It's, it's like a replacement father figure, and that's what right. that's what Dexter really becomes to him. It's not, it go fluctuates between father figure and like older brother, but really like it's that dad complex, you yeah. know. And it's that thing that that uh, Harrison doesn't necessarily his his real son, who's very sweet and kind, mm-hmm. and and Dexter always worries that he may. Am, turn am I am I leaking some sure. of my uh, leaking? Is not the right, not the good word, no, no, but like, it is some of what I am gonna. Uh, Inform who he becomes. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely. And, but then here's here's Zach, who really is like a young Dexter. He doesn't mm-hmm. have the same sort of inciting incident. Mm-hmm. You know, it's not like Zach was born in some sort of tragedy no, watching no, no, his parents no, get no, no, killed no. or whatever. It's like he's just pure uh he, psychopath. Well and yeah. there and it you know, we know there are those people that they just have and he just said, you know, I just I can't help it. I just have these right. urges. There's no there's no yeah, you're right, there's no incident, there's no um specific cause um that that makes him the way he is it's just what turns him on and you know yeah. I, I keep using that word turn on because it's kind of very proactive uh uh you know way of thinking about it you know he did yeah. you know, he, he digs actively that. searching it out the way you know uh photographing yeah searching out car accidents but he's, and but he's murders not, and... yeah but he's, he's not he's not from the get-go an evil kid no he's tried to suppress something and it's only through an in you know coincidental incident you know where he's trying to the way he says it, and I truly believe this, you know, he's trying to protect his family from being completely destroyed. He's like, right. m- m- trying he didn't to, like, go to, he didn't, in other words, no, he didn't he go didn't to Norma Rivera to, to no. go, I'm going to, I'm finally going to kill. Absolutely. For the first time ever. And this is going to be amazing. He doesn't right. do that. Yeah. He doesn't do that. Um, it, it isn't until, <laughs> it really isn't until he gets kind of knocked back by Dexter in the, in the, in the, um, in his, uh, uh, third episode, um, where he, you know he keeps getting given the brush off by this right. new this new dad this new mentor this new friend this someone, someone who's got the answers someone right? who's yeah. got the answers exactly someone who has the same urges yep. that he has and yet has this has like a has a life has a th- th- there's rules but also is willing yeah. to give me the time to you know to spend with me yeah. and 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 help guide me and when i keep getting brushed back the way i react is that i make a choice to go actively search out someone to channel my urges into right. uh sean this kid from school um and that's the first time where i really proactively go after someone to to kill right and because of this weird code thing that Vogel's that, talked about. The Vogel's talked Dexter's, about and that Dexter's, yeah, he's kind of people preached People who deserve a bit. it a little bit, yeah. Absolutely, absolutely. He, you know, he's really, he's really trying to figure out exactly the way, you know, you know how, how should he be, I mean, because he, he seems to lose so much of his, um, trying to like put up a facade of being i'm 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 a bit weird and i'm a bit you know right. giving off an atmosphere he really wants to uh try and connect with dexter um right. and have him teach like give me the answers you know what's next you know how you know when are we going to do this and um and i think there's something different about zach from dexter also is when we when, like when we first meet dexter season one mm-hmm. he looks at the rest of the world like they're aliens like he's so much better than them that he's He's the butcher walking in a field of cows, you yeah. know, that have... Taking out the trash. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. yeah. But even just, like, normal people are just ridiculous to him. And I don't feel like... I mean, I don't know. You tell that's, me how you felt. That's like, is interesting. That, is that necessarily how you feel Zach looked at the world? Or was it more like Zach looked at himself? I mean, coming from from our end up here in yeah. the writer's area, it was always sort of that Dex, that, that Zach felt he was flawed oh. in a, in a cert, to a certain extent, that... 
Dexter, by the time we meet him, doesn't feel. And actually, yes, you. Okay, so now I hear what you're saying. When finally, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, I get it now. <laughs> Can we go back and shoot that episode again? I'll, I'll, I'll get it right this time. No, 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 no when no, when I'm right. on the kill table and I say, <laughs> you know, um, I'm just a freak. I, yeah. I totally, yes. I totally agree. He does think there is something. Zach knows that there's something slightly off and not right about what he's doing, um, which was, it was in the audition scene as well. Right. So I knew that this kid, he does have a moral compass. Yeah. He, he, you know, he does know that, you know, what, he thinks he has a sickness. He thinks there's something wrong with him, which, I mean, he's like, you know, 19, 20 years old. You know, he's, he's, he's at a point now where he's felt it for quite a while, where he, he covers that up by, um, with a bit of an arrogance, you know, trying yeah. to put on a bit of an arrogance. So people will like, you know, p keep people at arm's length. So he doesn't, you Which know. It comes with a little bit of the wealth part. Yeah. Little, oh, yeah, yeah, of course. Yeah. So I I don't think that Zach. But it's odd because he's not necessarily ashamed of his photos. He's not no. ashamed of his. No. Of his but hobby. He's not ashamed of this like search for blood. No. You know. But that's, but, but he would be if the public so that's, right like, that's why he's got his private it's suit. private yeah, it's, yeah. it's i mean it's like with but it's the same with anyone like in yeah. in your own environment you what you what you dig what turn you know what yeah. you're passionate about you're not going to feel guilty about it it's it's when someone else judges right you know and places a judgment on that and you know for him you don't yeah, like me in this dress i mean i mean right? yeah. <sighs> just <laughs> hike it up a little bit more then we'll talk but you know it's I, it's such such a comfortable set. I feel really comfortable <laughs> with you guys. Um, no, it's you know he he. I don't think he looks at people and thinks of himself as better. I do agree. Yeah. He does. He. Um, why can't I be? Yeah. Why can't I be normal? Yeah. And he yeah, says yeah. that. You know. He's like. You know. I I don't want to feel this way. Right. I don't want to be like this. But I am. Um, I also, however, when Dexter you know, gives him the, uh, you know, the quote unquote answer, or there's a, there's a hope that there is an answer and a way yeah. to live that he, 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 he discovers a power yeah. to this oddity or difference in him. I mean, you know, it's like a superhero yeah. or, a, or, you know, superhero, supervillain, what, you know, so, someone that, di you know, they, there's something different about them. And at first they wrestle with it and they try and like suppress it. And until they accept that that's who they are, then they can, you know, as, as it said in in the show, channel it for the right use, right. and I think that's another thing as well. Like when Dexter says, "There's a way for you to live," there is a way to live and be as close to normal as you could right. possibly be. Is that you feel like he, he feels that he can maybe potentially have a, a normal life one day? To, right. You know, a way to channel this thing, and not even necessarily when you say like he's a superhero. That, that's oh, the, I wasn't that's saying of, he yeah, was I know, a super, I like yeah, yeah, no, but it's 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 that transformative thing Absolutely. that suddenly he feels. Yeah, but it's it's uh, it's very clear that when when uh, Zach goes to kill, um, Sean, Sean, yeah. Sean, De uh, Sean Decker, whatever, uh, that uh, this isn't this is this really isn't about. It's not like um, it's not like Charles Bronson where it's like I'm gonna get revenge. Oh, I'm gonna no, make no. justice happen. I'm gonna. It's like he gets it also that this is a way that I can. This is a way I can live. Yep. This is a way I can. I can uh, fulfill these dark urges and I can get away with it. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. Which is what Dexter... Which is interesting. He, yeah. It's very interesting. He's also, you know, trying to prove, you know, he's constantly trying to prove to dad, you know, Dexter, right. Dexter dad, that, you know, look, I can do right. You know, didn't I do a good job? You know, like, did you... Look at the way I did the kill room. You know, he tries right. to make it exactly... He, yeah. I mean, he bodges it up, but, yeah. you know, it's it's he. it comes from a place of wanting to please, wanting to be accepted wanting yeah. to be given the thumbs is, up that's dexter's throughout all eight seasons that's sort of his his fatal flaw yeah that he's not a normal psychopath who could give a rat's ass what anybody else thinks about him he really i mean he does sort of but it's this need to connect yes yes yeah. and and he doesn't give it's it easily fun. to zach no he, he doesn't he, so let's, he, yeah let's talk through that like this sort of journey so five um, well, he meets he meets Dexter and he meets right. this guy that's a blood spatter analyst, which yeah. is interesting to a guy that takes pictures of mm -hmm, blood, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. you know. And, and also, he's a little worried about his father, in spite of who his father is. Yeah, Zach, yeah. Know? He's um, I mean, it's, it's a momentary. It's it's like a moment of connection. Like yeah. there's something you know, you just sense something about right. Dexter, you know. Um, and I mean, yes, it's it's him worried about his dad, but it's also him, you know, checking in that you know his dad isn't gonna, you know screw up and like you know drop the you know yeah. drop the ball you know in some way because um, zach knows you know 
I I did this. <laughs> well, yeah. <laughs> yeah, and you know his his dad no like his dad's cleaning up my mess. It's like, you know, it, it's a whole messed up. No one trusts each other. Well, the father you know? doesn't necessarily know that it was. Oh, I that think it was he's. You. Oh, I I mean, as you think Zach, he did? Oh. I, I, as Zach, I'm like I'm pretty sure he's got a good idea that I had uh, something to do. Which is up in the room was, we had we had, we didn't think that at all. Oh, you it's didn't. Interesting, right? It was that. Was, it was interesting for me to come in like yeah. knowing, like, because there's there's that one in that one short scene. Um, yeah. no, the first short scene in uh, eight or five when he's you know just go back inside, like, yeah. and it's like, I know you want to keep me, keep me at a distance, like, and it, the, I think it's. Be, I felt that it was because yeah, you you know you're covering up for, mm. for 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 me. I, I th that's what I was. That's why I was running with. Sure, sure, sure. So. Yeah, we, it raised my stakes as well because I felt like I had to check in on that. Right. Like, what's he saying? Yeah, exactly. Right, right, exactly. And then, and then in the yeah. So then next next episode, that's pretty mm -hmm. much it. There, yeah, pretty, than, yeah, pretty much. Yeah. Like Quinn suddenly thinking, I think it's this game. Yeah, yeah. Um, next episode, Dexter starts sort of a. He's 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 uh, stalking mm -hmm. this kid. Mm -hmm. He's figuring. Uh, what's the introduction of you? It's a. It's well, taking, taking pictures it, of, yeah, a, of yeah. a of a of a car crash mm -hmm. basically. And Dexter sees this opening and mm -hmm. sees that there's here's here's this kid who uh, looks at blood maybe the same way that I do. It sets mm -hmm. his teeth on edge. Mm -hmm. What do you what do you feel like when you were taking the pictures of this blood and all that? What do you feel like your connection was as Zach to carnage like that? Um, it, it's such it's a, not killing. No, um, it's um, uh, it's like killing adjacent, I guess. I don't know. Yeah, it, it's uh, it wasn't so much about the killing. Um, it's because you had an interesting look on your. And your face. Oh, I haven't seen it. So oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I haven't. I've, I've I've not watched it yet. Um, so, it, he just. It's like artwork, right? And the fact that it's come. This is sick, this is kind of sick. Go. Well, the you know it it's the most pure kind of paint that you could you put on a canvas, and it it comes. It's totally organic. It comes from right. your body, and it's coming also out of uh, a usually a painful dark. Yeah. Situation. So the fact that there's a release of something right. that leaves a mark is it's the, it's the only way that I could be like, oh, that's that's hot. Like right. you know, that's the turn on thing for him. You know, yeah. like oh, this this has come out of a situation that was painful or you know or or sexy or you know um, uh, angry, violent. Uh, violent you know, yeah. and the fact that's his that urge is to. To release this blood, yes, exactly on his own. Yeah. So, so the artwork that's left behind is yeah. like, actually, when I was when I was first got the role, I marathoned Dexter. Like I went back to the beginning and you know totally marathoned all seven seasons. Um, and I would listen to the way Michael Dexter would talk about talk about pain. Uh, sorry, talk about blood. Right. You know the way it falls. You know, and just the yeah. absolute, you know, the the detail. But and for the, Dexter, it's it's wrapped up in this forgotten memory that, mm -hmm, that mm -hmm. comes out toward the end of the first season mm -hmm. of his of seeing his mother, you know, uh, oh, yeah. chopped up yeah, by it sure. with a chainsaw and blood spattering all right, over. Right, right, right. And then, and then sitting in that blood for three days. Yes, so he's got a strong connection to blood. I yeah. think more for Zach, it's the fact that there's some beautiful artwork that comes out of something so horrible and painful and violent and right. angry. Like Pollock. Jackson yeah, Pollock. Yeah, absolutely. <laughs> Actually, no, that's a very... I've never thought about it like that. It's very much like... I don't know if you see that saw the show Red when he talks about you know it's yeah. it's something oh it, you know it really gets you um and knowing that when you know I'm in a I'm in a uh, the vicinity of something that has been really really violent you know deadly you know it's that's also a turn on as well right. like for Zach you know it's like oh someone someone died here she bled out it wow he mm. it just it just gets right. to him. Yeah, 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 and you you, you see it, you know, and yeah. you see Dexter. Dexter's watching Zach with his own information of what blood means to him, right? You right, know, which which help I think which helps where you know where where that episode at, uh, heads, right? Is it six six? You end up on the table. Yes, yes, yes I end up. Yeah. So the next meet, Dexter figures out a way as he's wont to do with a lot of um when he when he stalks and vets people, whether it's the drunk at the bar or whatever, he right. tries to figure out a, get into a way my to life. get face yeah. to face. Yeah. So he invites Zach. Behind the curtain, right, right, yeah. under under the crime. It's like scene taking tape. taking backstage to a you know a, a, a you know a rock concert. Yeah. You know, it's like <laughs> it is. What, yeah. like, you, you, we, we talked about uh, it in the room about that's that's sort of like getting behind the velvet rope. Absolutely, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ab absolutely. And for Zach, it's you know it's it's such a tricky relationship as well because I know that this guy you know is 
you know connected to the you know people that you know could you know track me down as yeah. someone is so there's a weird there's, threat behind it a little well, bit too because you weird... know that dexter you sense that uh, you know in the previous there's, episode there's something special about yes. this guy possibly and i think also i mean i think as a human as well like not just the zach like you know the, the idea of danger the idea of something that's a little bit a little bit dangerous something that's a little bit um you know not quite safe is uh again kind of a right. turn on it's like oh like that's that psychopath thing is that yeah is that like treading on the edge? Gen- they, and they don't they don't necessarily feel uh emotions or threat or uh passion or any any of those things in the same way that like typical people do right right so you know oftentimes psychopaths will put themselves in situations like that mm-hmm, to mm-hmm. feel something mm-hmm. rather yes. unsuccessfully yeah, it, yeah. It's, it's like um it's like, yeah it's it's like you want to um it's like how even something so stupid is like you know when you have like a hangnail like how 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 far can I mess right. with this until it you know oh until I can't really go until it really hurts <laughs> so I know that I feel something yeah and I think with Zach he doesn't get the I mean the closest he gets is like going to crime scenes and like yeah. you know taking pictures from a distance so when Dexter's like you want to get in there I'm like oh yeah you, you, you know he he gets you know yeah. over that idea um but then it becomes a weird negotiation of like knowing that Dexter's you know kind of in, in the back of his head is like. I feel like he's, you know, he could be watching me, you know, so I don't really stick around there for too long and get too involved. And so I, I try and I try and off ski, I try and get out of there. And then he, right. you know, he says, you know, I'd love to check him out. And that's when he says, love to check the photos out. Then it's when it's like, wait, 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 you actually, you know, you want to come see what I've taken pictures of. Oh, right. you dig this as well. You, yeah. you do dig something as well. And that's how, yeah, for sure. Michael sort of played that, that connection oh yeah thing yeah 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 so then you know and there's there's no thought in zach's head that this is a a detective a police you know a a homicide person it's just straight up finally someone i can connect with yeah and no i and i keep checking the way it was it was really cool the way it was written because i kept asking very probing questions that could right. potentially be dangerous for me about like norma, about the car right? yeah, about yeah. the about norma you know about the car and i was yeah. like how cheeky is that this is how cheeky zach is like you know when the car things brought up he's like oh did you know did you see what kind of car it was and yeah. and like no no we didn't get it and he's like oh that's a shame like right. he he puts himself this close to being like you know you little no they drove a sorry, red so. porsche right, in exactly. that neighborhood like, he didn't, yeah <laughs> so he was gonna kill her yeah. so it's um yeah, it, he he definitely like has a a bit of a fun bit bit of fun moment there with with. But with then Dexter. when I mean that moment when you when uh, Zach does show the photos mm-hmm. to Dexter, there's this like super honest oh uh, yeah moment when he's like, "Do you want some copies?" <laughs> uh, he <laughs> it's like a little kid. So that, yeah, you know what? This is this is the turning point for Zach. Like he really. I mean, and the the scene is written like this as well. Like he comes in with donuts, and it's like, do you want like, do, like I, I, you know, like um, I, you know, I keep the saturations in my red really high yeah, because yeah, I yeah. dig it. Do you do you think I did too much? And he, because all he wants is for Dexter to go, I, I love your stuff. Yeah, and he does. Yeah. And then he's like, well, I'll, I'll give you copies, and you know, and, <laughs> and Dexter's he, like, uh. but it's and it's. The little kid thing is fun because Zach is, you know, there's yeah. certain parts of him where he really is still that little kid who wants, you know, an older brother, you know, a dad to go, yeah. Well done. Well well done, exactly. Yeah. So, um, and then he kind of, you know, he he he, he feels a, a bit more comfortable then to like have a, a bit of a, a bit of an honest, not introverted moment, an honest moment where he's like, you know, I felt like that chick just, you know, bled just for me and yeah. you know so creepy it, it is it's it's creepy but you know for him it's, it's just it was just honesty yeah it's, yeah it's total yeah, honesty yeah. and that's what i think makes him so interesting is that he he seriously doesn't overplay his i'm a creep you know he right. doesn't as soon as he feels he can trust and dex is one of the first people that he's met that he's like i sense something different about you and you yeah. know you that he can let it go and it comes even it comes to call it his lizard brain his lizard brain right right, right. lizard brain yeah, sure yeah. it becomes a little bit more very when i was reading it very scary the fact that someone could be so you know honest about like this really i really dig this yeah like i would love to see this done again like i would you know Rather than like, I'm going to be weird and creepy, which right. is just like kind of like an, an atmosphere thing, you know, um, I found it also, you know, great in that same scene to get, you know, get a phone call from my drunk mum, right. which 
really showed again this this ep- I felt this episode really showed three sides of Zach. There's like his standoffish. Um, I've got a bit of an attitude, bit of an you know atmosphere right. in the first part. Then when I'm he part invites of the 1%, him, right? I'm yeah. part of the one percent exactly. <laughs> In the in the studio, he's that he's trying to make trying to make connections. He's a bit excited, and then when he gets the phone call from his mum, and then when he's on the kill table, he's totally open. Like all his wounds, he yeah. because he he seriously thinks on the kill table that is it. And so maybe I mean, this is right. And maybe this is yeah, and, yeah. and that's why he says yeah, yes, yeah, yeah. yes. And I think you know when I was, it wasn't till I was on the kill table with Michael doing the scene when he got to the point of going round to the knives to pick it up. Yeah, that I just inherently like closed my eyes, like to want to actually want to be delivered to like right. do it, just no, just seriously do it, not like I'm teasing, like just release me. Yeah, and and then when he doesn't, when he cuts the tape. It's like new air filling filling lungs. Um, so I really felt that 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 episode really allowed me to kind of explore a lot more different, you know, ranges of yeah. Zach rather than just being the the, you know, creepy, the, kid. the, the creepy kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. And then because the that's the thing that was a, it was the it was the phone call with the mother that was the first uh, moment for Dexter that he thought maybe was, there's something more to this yeah. person than I thought that this yeah. isn't the normal run of the mill bad guy. Yeah. You well, know, he's also someone who he, deserves my table. Right. Yeah. And he's also got some very young, you know, like he's, you know, he's he's a, he's a moody kid, like you know, right. in, you know, at those points. But you know, I didn't drink. I didn't. I didn't. I didn't grow up in a house with a with a mother with a drinking problem or a dad who was cheating. You know. Right. You know. So, you know, when you grow up in that environment and you feel like you have to be more adult or you have to be, um, you have to. Kind of, you know, you have to go visit the the housemaid who's banging my dad to tell her to stop doing it, or you know, right. pick up my mum when she's you know had a two day bender. You know, there's it just it makes you it hardens you up, it knocks you down a lot, but it really hardens you up. I think that's another other reason why Zach is uh you know got so many different levels to him. He yeah. can be soft and he can be tortured. He can also be like and he did I, care about his mother though. I oh, mean, no, that is the, yeah, he does. Yeah, yeah. He's no, not the hun- normal sort of psychopath thing, no. which would be like. Screw that! No, Screw no, no, this no. noise! I don't need my mom. No, no, I don't no, need no. Any of these people. Yeah. No, it's 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 dad that has let me down. Yeah. It's it's totally dad that's totally totally left me. You know, left me out there. Um. And you know, I even gave him a chance to try and you know <laughs> try to right. try to save my family from. But you know, that was an interesting when 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 he's when when Zach says you know trying to you know. Actually, it was in. I think it was in. I think it was in the audition. Actually, he said, um, "You know, I didn't want my family to have to go through that um, uh, uh, ridicule scandal." You right. know, it really kind of was like. I mean, what for him to recognize that I don't want my family to be torn apart this way? That right. he's trying to hold on to something real and like, because who wants to have like a you know destructed family, psychopath or non psychopath? Like, no right. one wants that. Um, so. I felt, you know, when I was when I was on again when I was on the table and he asked me, "You care about your mom?" It's like, yeah, I'm yeah. I'm I'm not totally like I'm I am human. Like it's just you you know I'm in a very unique situation. You know I have these very unique urges, and but it doesn't mean I don't care. Dexter yeah. Dexter loves. Yeah, he loves his kid. De- he, Dexter loves kids. Cared he loved, for Rita. He loved, uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. You know, and loves Hannah. Yeah. Love lo- exactly. It's so, sort of like know, you. You caught Dexter at the right time. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I think if Dexter had met Zach season one, ah, uh, he wouldn't. Yeah. There'd have been a knife sticking out his chest, and yeah. it'd been fish food. He'd been found in a bag for season two, probably, probably. <laughs> but that wouldn't have been four episodes long. So I <laughs> no, was, it's I, good. I'm, I'm happy. I'm very happy to be here in season eight. Because um, Dexter, to a certain extent, sort of needed uh, to meet someone like Zach this time. You know, I'm actually surprised point. he hasn't. I was. When I was again marathon, I was yeah. like, "This he is the first of." I mean, he's always meeting other killers that yeah. have a connect. Like he feel like he know, learns from them. It's like he learns a lot of them. times that was his his uh, in the first you know four seasons. Those are the only people that he was completely open oh, yeah. and honest with. This yeah. was the only people he connected with, mm-hmm. and then he was in complete control of it. Mm-hmm. And then he stuck a knife in it, mm-hmm. you know, and sent them on on their way. Yep. Yep. But uh, five, six, seven, eight. Dexter started opening up to things and started yep. opening up to people and things became more chaotic and out yes. of control and this controlled universe that he had was 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 no longer there. Yeah, 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 yeah. And then he meets Zach. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It, it's um, it. 
this I reflection, didn't... this weird uh, reflection of himself. Yeah. yeah, and there was, I mean, you asked me, you think you asked me at the very beginning, like how much did I know from the get go? Yeah, I when I when I booked the role, right, I didn't know. I knew, like, I had a sense of who this kid was from what I auditioned with. I didn't know where he was going to go. So when I read my second episode, and my third episode, so when and... you got to wait, let's talk about when you got to like six. And suddenly you're you're flipping on the, the pages and you're like I'm on a table. It's like, well, well what's going to happen? <laughs> well, I, I, you know, I didn't know. I didn't yeah. know. You know, actually, I actually had a conversation. I I spoke to uh, Scott Buck the day right. before I shot my first scene in uh, in eight oh five. Okay. Just because I wanted to get, you know, I didn't want to just walk in knowing, you know, just what is on, what is on the page. You know, I just wanted to, you know, kind of get a sense of like. Um, what what else is there? What else is you know should what seeds should be planted? Right. And um, good questions to ask. Yeah, yeah, because yeah, for the story, for the for the for the arc of the character, yeah. and it's so it's so interesting that like t- you know doing you know eight oh eight, how far this kid has grown like, as a person, yeah. how much he has grown, um, is is really really ridiculous um and 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 fascinating fascinating to do um because you're surrounded by people that are so complex and messed up like yeah. but they're all like helping like in 808 they're like a little messed up family yeah you know like it's hannah sort of dexter fun. bogle like you know all eating dinner together like yeah. you know it's it's so i, I couldn't have told you i i, I couldn't have guessed because he finally found, just like Dexter, he'd oh, he'd finally found this connection right. that his whole life he'd been searching for, and suddenly now he's part of this weird family of psychopath whispers yeah. and killers, and yeah, it's great. It's fun. It feels normal. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So eight oh seven. Yeah. Let's think back. What happened in eight oh seven? So after eight oh six, Dexter lets him up off the table, does, yeah. but doesn't really offer much in the way of hope. It's more like. Basically, it was like stop. <laughs> well, you know, he, he um. What now? Stop! Just stop. <laughs> well, uh, yeah, a lot happened. Zach tries to make a lot of things happen in that episode. You know, he, um, you know, he he goes he goes on a mission with him. You know, to the you know to the club. You know, uh, to where he can meet Hannah, and um, he, you know, is he's he's constantly trying to meet with Dexter to like learn more from him. He, you know, he he screws Quinn over, you know, goes to the police station and gets, you know, Quinn in right. trouble so he'll stop stalking him. He really like there's a you know, a thing where he really wants to become the Robin to Dexter's Batman. Yeah. Um and that's kind of he and he And unfortunately he, you caught Dexter in a moment when he's, and he's trying not, to get yeah, exactly. trying to get with Hannah. <laughs> We're not in sync. We're yeah. really not in sync and he won't explain why. Yeah. Um which is frustrating. If he'd have just said and look, Dexter's look, using I'm getting her laid. Too. Yeah, he said, listen, I could possibly get laid, I would have gone, dude, <laughs> fine. Because Zach keeps saying, dude, dude. You know, like and if he'd have said, I would have been like, chill, I'll see you in a couple of days, I'll be yeah. fine. Um But Dexter's <laughs> still so trained to be closed up that yeah. why would I let this kid yeah. into my life any more than he needs to be? Absolutely. Except for when he needs him. Well, that yes, and the, <laughs> in the second part of the of the of that episode, when he calls me, I mean, I'm I'm sat, you know, on the street, like seeing all these women go by, and like imagining, like, yeah. oh, what would it be like to have her on the table, like, you know, and yeah. how, you know, how would I do it, you know, you know, thinking the the old wrong, dirty thoughts, you know, not yeah. about people who deserve it, about just, just wanting to do it, you know, right. just do it for the sake now of it's doing closer. it. Closer, it's like yes, you've tasted, I've tasted this it, thing, yes, and, and you can no longer just. Hold back like like he did the first right. eighteen years of his life before right. Norma and yeah. before Dexter. Yeah. Suddenly there's a way. There's a solution. Yeah. And yeah. then Dexter calls a me. A way to get he, away with it. Yeah. But a then, plastic room. But then he but then he uses me. Yeah. He uses me to get into the club. And I feel like there's such a oh it was it, you know I felt such a sense of like oh yeah I'm, I'm you know he's, he's in this he dresses up he you know he you bring shows him the up, clothes he yeah bring yeah. him the clothes we, we you know I show off I throw the keys at the valet yeah, you know yeah. I know the doorman you know I don't particularly like this place but I'm going to use what I've got to get Dexter in because that will make him know that like yes like I can trust this kid and we are Batman and yeah. Robin and you know just like in Batman and Robin like you know you know Batman keeps going. No, you need to. You need to chill. You You're need to chill. Ready. And I'm not ready to chill. I'm ready to explode yeah. again. Yeah. Um, and th- that's why I felt. You know, there's, there's a lot of there's a lot of aggression and 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 confusion for Zach in in that episode. He's not yeah. kind of following. Like what? What he like? He's yeah. leading him along this path. Is this part of our he, training? Like even right. at, even at that at the van or the club at the fan club. I forget what it's called. It's like so. Yeah, we can do this. You know, so like who, who are we hunting? Right. Yeah. 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 Um. And then, 
And then he, there's even that moment where 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 Dexter uh, gives Zach this job. Mm -hmm. Keep an eye out. Text mm -hmm. me when uh, Julian Sands mm -hmm. comes walking back. Which, by the way, like that was so. Is it fun to work with him? <laughs> oh man! Like you, you, seriously, like oh, I could not. When he walked in for the table read, I was. Like, <laughs> I we 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 would we, we were both doing shows at the Edinburgh Fringe Festival a couple of years ago. Oh. I was there with my theatre company, and he was yeah. there doing a, um, a a play directed by John Malkovich. And what? we came and sat down. And I was just like, mate, I'm. Like, I didn't say mate because I've been so stupid. So that's Julian Sands. All right, mate. <laughs> um, I said, Mr. Sands, um, and. I, he was. I, I went to set to watch him like shoot his other scenes with Yvonne oh, because right he's so he's got such a such a an interesting energy on yeah. on screen and on set. Sorry, that was yeah. No, side, no, side, no sidebar. Cool, he's cool. Right? Yeah, yeah. I, I geek. I've geeked out quite a few times on this show. I'm not <laughs> awesome lie. casting, by the way, Julian <laughs> Sands. Right? Isn't it? Isn't yeah, it? It's a lot of fun. Yeah. So. So yeah. So yes. When, so he when, gives. He gives. He gives Zach a job. This task. I get a job. And he then does it like I, I nail it. I yeah. nail it, and then he drops the ball. Yeah, and I'm like, so wait a sec. I did. I I didn't. I didn't. Like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, I say that like yeah. I, I I don't. I didn't mess up. And I love. Yeah, it was a I fun just, moment. It was like this this kid again going. It's not my fault. Yeah, I did my. Yeah, I did what I was supposed to do. It, it's it's. Yeah. But he also feels, which, you know, Alec, the director of that episode, we right. really had some. He, he really helped um, approach some of these scenes in a very, you know, very, very, um, you know, very different way. That moment also, actually yeah. became really, I found a sense of almost betrayal that I'd done my job. Right. We're Batman and Robin. I did my part of the gig and I was watching him talking to Hannah and like, you're not really, you're using, I felt like he, I was betrayed because I sensed that he was using me right. for something that, which is why I followed up with him and said, so are we going to, you going to kill him? And he's like, no, I only kill people who deserve it. And I'm like, so why are we, <laughs> and what are we doing so here? <laughs> it's so yeah. frustrating because I feel like, wait, are you just, are you, are you just using me? Yeah. Um, so th that I approached it in the same way first. I was like, this is a little kid, like eager to be. Yeah. And Alec actually went, no, like try, you know, try playing it less eager, play, play more like, this has actually really hurt me that you know yeah. you haven't followed through, and it was it was so much more of an interesting arc to yeah, yeah, explore yeah. Um, because also it balances out with Michael because Michael's going through so much. Dex is going through so much in that scene in this episode, you know, with Hannah and All like trying new to work it out. And yeah, new thoughts and yeah. No, normally, when he feels this sort of anger towards somebody, they are going to end up on the table. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. So it was. Oh, it's, it's wonderful, wonderful to explore. Wonderful to explore. Which then led to Dexter saying, we'll get together. Don't worry. It's all going to be good. And then he doesn't. I'll start training. And then yeah. he doesn't. He doesn't show up again. And, and you have this like left. burst of anger outside Dexter's uh, apartment. Again, it's, it's betrayal. It's yeah. let down. It's, 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 like an, it's like a repeat of like, you know. What, is, what his father did. What my dad, all exactly. Yeah, yeah. And it's, all, and it's all the more worse because uh, Zach expected so much more from Dexter. Yep. Yeah. Yep, absolutely. He made me believe something, and then he's like not following through. Um, it's like an incredibly needy girlfriend. Um, <laughs> like you know, when you've only had one date with them, it's like you know we're, we're not boyfriend girlfriend. We're just dating. It's like oh, that's not what I got from that date. You know, I got I got wedding bells. You know, no. Um, and and also like it was really that was the first scene I shot. In oh, that was episode. it really? Oh, wow! So I started at the end of the episode, <laughs> and uh, so that was really cool. That was that's been the most. Because you're primarily theater. I I yeah, yeah, yeah. I, yeah I have a theater company in New York. I you know I do I've been doing theater for a long time. So is it weird to do things so out of? It, it you, yes, it's very weird. But you, you figure learning about story, learning about how the story is meant to be told. Like I've really. Uh, worked out how to um, okay so this beat this scene is for the audience is about uh, presenting this beat the, right. or, the, or this uh, this is what they need to read from the story in order for it to move forward um, and it's really it's really actually helped me out um, yeah. kind of break that like a uh, 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 script study like you know okay, okay this is this is what this needs to right. be in order for the story to move forward in the right way um, so yes it's been interesting to do things out of sync um, but it's been a great challenge and um again everyone you know michael you know who i've spent yeah. predominantly the you know the most time with uh in in the scenes he's um you know so 
uh, you know, when he needs to be, he's very isolated and, you know, he's, he sets a very, very, very relaxed tone, which is, is helpful in the scene. But, yeah. um, I've enjoyed it. I've, I've really, I've really enjoyed it. Yeah, it's been fun. Yeah. And then, so 808, we get to, uh, this, this, well, that one's a myth. That one, that, that was a myth. That was a real mystery before I read it. I was like, yeah. oh, what's gonna, cause it start, yeah, well, it starts off with, it looks like Zach has murdered Cassie. Right. And on the page, it looks exactly like mm-hmm, it's, mm-hmm. it's supposed to look like that. Like I imagine, when you when you read it, were you no. thinking? No, I'm you, sorry. You no, didn't think I, it, you no. did it at all. You no, know, it was a setup. No, you know, I just like there's no like I, as Zach defending my character, I was like, there's 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 <laughs> no no. I'm just sorry. There's there's no way that he's gonna. Uh, no, like even, not even as like a no as like a f- to Dexter. No. Do you know what? Because there was He's, so much anger in that previous scene. That there was so much, I think, and that's what the audience needed to be led to believe. But I, as as Zach, I was like, "There's, there's no way he killed. It. There's no way he killed Cassie. There's no way he did it." Yeah, I knew he didn't, and I, I was like, I was, I was adamant. I was so adamant. I was gonna, I was, so you keep going through the I was, pages. I was okay, gonna chat Zach to you guys. Happen? I was gonna chat to you guys. If I found out that I did it, I was gonna have a word. Because I was like, there's no, my character would, that'd be a line, wouldn't it? My character wouldn't do this. My character so wouldn't. We, no, writers never hear that. Don't worry. It's all good. Um, no, so, um, I, yes, when I was reading 808 first, I was like, what, what like, right. what? What what have I done? What, like, right. what, where, where did I go? So, what do you feel like, uh, let's talk through, like, Zach's thought process possibly. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Dexter totally screws him over, mm-hmm. leaves him. Doesn't there's there's no word, there's no anything. Vogel's not much help either. Yeah, yeah. When it, when it comes down to all this sort of stuff, because she sort of like pushed you onto Dexter. Sure, sure, to be, sure. The, to be the Harry sort of yeah. in in uh, in your life. Um, what do you think made you decide or made Zach decide to go chase down this other guy, this Sean Becker? Because all all pretty much that you heard from Dexter was. Uh, with Julian kill, Sands or people who deserve, deserve it, right, right, and then and possibly the thought of a code, yep, a, 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 a set of uh, rules, to live and by, rules, yeah, yeah, from Dr. Vogel, yeah, but they and this room, yeah, and that talk with Dexter in that room, yeah, they haven't. There's no, nothing uh, concrete. He hasn't sat down. Like there hasn't been like the whiteboard with like rule yeah. one, rule two. Yeah, rule, yeah, you know, here's yeah. the code. Here's the handbook. No, it's you know I'm 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 learning through you know I'm I'm. You know, seeing and doing. You know, seeing and yeah. doing. You know, learning through watching, and what I. It's a good thing Zach's a learner like that, and not a, a book learner. <laughs> well, this, well, this is the thing about Zach that actually you mentioned earlier on with Dexter, because he's so isolated and he isolates himself. Uh, you know, especially you know early on in his life, and you know, yeah. still, you know, he still would. Um, he he's become such an amazing observer of people. He's able to analyze and observe, and right. like because he's always on the outside. Yeah. He doesn't really get stuck in there, um, and I, I think that's what makes him a very smart kid is that he's able to read a lot into you know how it's people are psychopaths. I mean, that, 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 they say yes. that's sort of the big danger of mm-hmm. if you're a psychopath, mm-hmm. they shouldn't necessarily put them into um, group therapy, yep. Yep. because yep. they just learn how to mimic and they yep. they, they identify mm-hmm. this is how I get by. So it was very true to Zach. I feel yeah yeah. And and you, Zach mimics Dexter. Yeah. Yeah, like, I mean, body, body, like with some choices. I, you did know, you find yourself doing that? Yep. Yeah, that's interesting. Yeah, and even what, well, even you know, and Zach, mim- you know, Zach mimicking Dexter, but also you know, even something as subtle as you know, him getting Dexter at one of his coats, and you know, them walking right. in together, both were, and the way that we both sat at the bar, like Zach wants to be, he wants to be like Dexter, yeah. like, and I mean, who doesn't? Who right, exactly? Who doesn't? He, you know, so there were little things in there, which was really fun as a, you know, from a physicality point of view for an actor to be like, so how's my, my how is right. Michael standing right now? Like, yeah. how can I emulate that? You know, which is that'll be fun to watch. Um, yeah, it's it's it's. I, I, I mean, I love those love those little things, but it's it's true. You do imit- You start imitating and mimicking, and um, psychopaths do, but. Yeah. In life, you know, you hang around with people, the way they talk, you know, and, you know, it's um, so finding that with Zach and Dexter was really fun, was really fun. Um, but the, the the thought process after the end of uh, 807 um, leading to, to what happened in 808 was definitely, ra- you know, a, 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 a rage, a betrayal, you yeah. know, at the very end of 807, which, you know, um, you know, took me definitely took me back to my studio, and you know, I had some very, uh, you know, some some 
some some moments to myself uh, in, in my private zone. But then the uh, you know working out my my main goal is to still is to get Dexter to want to you know right. de- get get him to want approval you know, sort of approval. Yeah. So you know what it's like a dog going uh, uh, or a cat. It's it's like my no, well, my cats cat don't used to care. do. No cats do care. They Seriously, don't care. I'm my sorry. cat my cat would go out into the garden. She'd bring a bird. She'd bring it back and she'd place it on the mat outside. That was a threat. And no, no, no! It's not a threat. They, it they, is. It's they, like I could do this to you while you're sleeping. But she'd line he has them a up. Thing about cats, he's not going to go. <laughs> for All right, so a dog. So a dog, right? Okay, dogs a love dog. us. Or right, dogs love us, right? Okay, fine. Let's do a dog. Maybe okay? your cat. Okay, go with your cat. It's uh, my cat. So your my cat, cat kills things and brings it to you. And exactly. It's not a threat. And it's not a threat. She's like, I'm going to do this to you in your sleep now. Uh, no, it's. I like, lick look, your face when it, you sleep. It, it, that's what cats think. <laughs> sorry, go ahead. I'm sorry. You do have a cat issue. That's that's awesome. I said cat. I said cat. Um, so, but she'd line up like four birds, yeah. like going, like, "Hey, look what I did! Aren't I a smart cat?" Yeah. And of course, my mum would be like mega annoyed and be like, yeah. "Oi, you know what? Like, and you know, tell her to." I like those birds. Up. Yeah, they're, they're a nice birds. The cat's a serial um, killer. Continue though. Go so, ahead. I think what Zach does is exa- he is yeah. like, "I'm gonna, I, I'm gonna, I'm, I'm gonna uh, I'll show prove you, you. Pro- prove to you yeah. that I can do it on my own. I don't need your help." But yeah. I'll do it exactly the way you want me to. I mean, I'll bodge it up a bit. You know, yeah. he does. But you know, I'm going to uh, show you that I am. I, I'm. I'm. A, I'm In grown the small up. Small few clues that he got. Someone who deserves yeah. it, and this the the room. Yeah. You know. Yeah. Yeah. It's interesting. It was. It was. Uh. It's fun. So then Dexter, Dexter shows thinks, up. Yeah. He he uh, look you know looks in and you make a couple of rookie. He makes a couple of rookie mistakes using his credit cards. Mm. He shows up at a hotel. It's gonna yeah. take out Sean Decker. Dexter walks in this room with. Hannah, of all people, you know, because Dexter now is also going against his code, going against mm-hmm. everything, something that love does to him, I guess, you know. Mm-hmm. So uh, he walks in this room, sees it's covered in plastic, and thinks, ah, oh, man, this guy is on a kill crazy rampage, you know. Uh, and then, and then I love this moment when when Zach Zach comes in the room, all all frustrated, not frustrated, uh, pa- sort of panicky. Well, because he's just like he just, he just killed someone, and he's like, oh God, you know, he had to like bash him over the head. He had to like <laughs> knock him down, knock him down, knock him down. And he's in the he's in the boot of his car, like de- like you know what, like, like oh, you know, sorry, the boot, yeah, sorry, the, yeah. the trunk, the, the trunk. Um, you know, yeah, he's he's definitely not in a. I'm relaxed. I've got yeah. this covered. You know. <laughs> so then when he walks, nothing in, works out as planned. <laughs> yeah, it's it's like you know, you, like you're working on. So it's it's like organizing a surprise party and everything's messing up and the person who surprise party is you know walks in and you're like, oh blood, bloody hell no i'm not yeah. done yet like this this was gonna look better you know the food wasn't burned i promise like you know and so but you know it's a different kind of thing it's, uh, with that's a, a dead, good analogy with a, with, a dead, right. with a dead person i promise that hasn't happened to me before <laughs> um but yeah you know and dexter gets dexter goes to um a really scary point, you know, as soon as I enter the yeah. room and totally and Zach has no, no uh, idea not, what's not, going not, on. Not a clue. I have not a clue what's going on. Um, and all, all I want, all I want for him to do is say, you did a good, 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 good first try. Well done. My well good done. and faithful servant. Again, yeah. it's all it's about like God to Jesus. Well yeah. done. <laughs> yep. God to Jesus. Yeah, absolutely. So I am Jesus and he is God. I mean, Dexter is God. That makes sense. That makes a lot of sense. Um, this is so, my son with whom I am well pleased. Yeah. <laughs> And instead, he gets thrown up against the wall with an elbow to his, to his neck and a knife to his ribs. He 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 got a second season, didn't he? <laughs> Jesus. Yeah, it's still going. <laughs> <laughs> awesome. <laughs> that, wow. So anyway, knife to the okay. ribs. <laughs> knife knife to the ribs. Um, but then once he you know explains the situation. What's a Cassie? You know, like what I is a Cassie? That it's like, Who's I, Cassie? I, 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 I didn't do a Cassie. Who's a Cassie? Um, so he you know he um. You know, tells him you know exactly what went on. You know, stops himself. You know, stops Dexter from killing him. Right. Um, and, and then that wonderful moment where it's like suddenly he looks over and there's there's that old man's. Oh yeah, weren't you the way- bird? <laughs> Is that what you'd say? Is it, yeah, the, 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 uh, aren't you the, the old guy's wife? Yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> And my favorite line is she cool? And that's that's <laughs> yeah, like such a yeah, thing. Yeah. It's like you know, it's like is she, she cool? in? Is she yeah, in yeah. Is she cool? Is she cool? Um, <laughs> and. He has such a Zach also has this really interesting vernacular like vocabulary as well. Because sometimes he tries to sound so like hip and yeah. like and he's really and he's really not. He's a very awkward kid. He's, yeah. he's actually, you know, um not very hip. Uh but like <laughs> she cool. Um uh, so you know, once he 
you know, explain to Dexter exactly what went on, then it, you know, becomes all about trying to get him to go. It's uh, that it's that moment that that he's been that Zach's been looking for his whole life. It's mm-hmm. like he takes him out. Dexter takes him outside. They open mm-hmm. the trunk. They close the trunk very quickly. Mm-hmm. But it's he then starts teaching. Yep. He starts imparting his yep. his uh, his wisdom. These these things and it's and Zach just sort of soaks it up. I love the glove moment. Oh, glo- he cuts his hand. Oh, gloves. <laughs> oh. Like ah, oh, I forgot that. <laughs> Told me that in episode. I I thought about that in eight oh five. I should have watched that. Um, <laughs> no. Um, and then you know this whole crazy road trip they go on as a kind of messed up family. You know, going right. to Vogels and you know. Well, Dexter meet- helps clean it up. Takes care of the car. Right. And then, and then meeting there, meeting there's, Deb there's, briefly. But, there, but there's that moment. Oh yeah, meeting Deb. Like, and another you have no hot idea chick. who Deb is. It's yeah. Like, who, who's the other hot brunette? She's hot. <laughs> yeah. You know, go for it. I love you like know? all the what is it the dude, line? It's like, like come on, dude. All these you know I mean? girls, all these hot girls after you, fighting man. over you. <laughs> Why not? I mean, the show is named after you, so I get it. But you know, <laughs> no. It's, but it's uh, great that he he even that he sort of misunderstands and thinks, wow, Dexter really is. He he's he the, has everything. He he's a he's a he's a sex idol. You know, he's he's like yeah, he's he's totally he's hot stuff because he's learned this code. Yeah. That's totally yeah. Zach thinks he's gonna get laid a lot more, um, <laughs> but. Um, I was actually, I was so glad I was waiting because I've, I've had no, no, I had had no scenes with Jennifer, All right. um, uh, until it's a quick one, but it's a good one. And I was like, please, if I ever get to have a scene with her, can I, can she please like cuss at me or something? <laughs> <laughs> and her only line to me is who the f- are you? Yeah. And I was like, yes. <laughs> and I got to say it back to her and I was like, yes, that's like solidified my moment. Um, you know. Uh, we should make like a gif of that, so it's just like out over the internet all the time. Yeah, the two of them thank you for the expertise. I appreciate that. <laughs> um, so that was fun. That was a lot of fun. Um, and um, yeah, in, in that short moment, she was a lot. She was a lot of fun to work with as well. Yeah, she's, she's gone. Yeah, yeah. So um, Hannah, yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. yeah. Well, I mean, so then, the, then there's that moment too where uh, driving back from the kill, mm-hmm. where. Uh, uh, what passed out when yeah, I'm asleep yeah, Zach, and Harry's in the back really and Harry's in the back which has got to be just sort of weird <laughs> acting wise like the figment of Dexter's <laughs> imagination is yeah. in the car with me right now James yeah. Remar from the Warriors is in the right. car with me right now Ajax right, right? yeah uh, yeah he's yeah yeah no it's um, I, I, I'm i sad that I get to be asleep that whole time so I don't get to like go <laughs> oh, just oh this is him <laughs> oh this is Harry this is that'd the have guy. been a different way to go it's like hey what's up oh hey, who's the guy in the back <laughs> we find out Harry's alive Oh, that'd be, yeah. Or if John Lithgow just pops up, it's like, <laughs> I, I didn't die. hey oh, I didn't die. Um, no, so there's, you know, uh, my, but my favorite really messed up thing was yep. the, uh, the, the, the Last Supper. Right. Uh, at Vogel's, which is so, which is, you know, he, again, he's observing a lot and just like throwing in comments about, yeah. you know, how awkward <laughs> this whole, this whole situation is, but it's a lot of fun. And, and likes the shepherd pie. Oh yeah, and you know, got to eat a lot, and I like yeah. to eat, so that's that was. So you have no problem eating on, on camera. No, good for you. Well, I had to go. Th- I had to go through fourteen donuts in A and A O five. That's right. I counted, <laughs> and I and I and I, you know, I I told my mom, I was like, don't worry, you know, like I ate fourteen donuts. You know, she's always checking in. I was like, how are you eating? I'm like, yeah, I'm eating good. Yeah, I'm eating fine. Fourteen donuts a day is fine. Um, so yes, that was two shepherd pies. Two and... shepherd pies. Um, so yeah, and that's a, you know, it was. Fun to have a you know an actual scene with Vogel as well. Yeah. Um, Were you familiar with her with Charlotte Rampling? Familiar, but I hadn't like right. I hadn't worked with her before. So, right. um, so it was a lot of fun. Um, it's nice to hear another accent as well. Yeah, she's um, got like a wild accent does, too. It's hard right? to pin down. She does. Like she's she's a person of the world. I feel. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Which is interesting for for that character for, of yeah. Doctor Vogel. So, um, so you have this big meal and all seems well. Right, I mean, until the discovery about you know someone's trying to frame me for yeah, you know for for killing for Cassie yeah, and then I, mean, I can't imagine who would be you know who would be doing that and why you know I say you know what money yeah you because know, that's the first thing yeah. you know comes to comes to my mind you know like why is anyone going to be interested in me apart from ca- you know cash yeah. and I mean in in my mind it was like. Oh, this is really weird. It's like, well, Quinn knows I Quinn quote right. unquote knows I oh, did it. Oh, I forgot it. all the Quinn part too. Yeah, right. Yeah. So it's like, well, Quinn quote unquote knows I did it. So maybe he's like, you know, tr- maybe he's the one who's going to try and extort me for money. Like, you know, right. it's, like, yeah, all these yeah, like yeah. weird things go through 
because yeah, Zach is you know kind of oblivious to the bigger picture of you know the the entire um you know who's these other you know other other killers that are you know you know coming in and out of Dexter's life. He just thinks, oh, I'm I'm it. You know, I'm the cent. Me and Hannah are the center of Dexter's yeah. universe. So <laughs> there's no other like evil thing out there. Yeah. You know, we're all here. We're all having dinner. So. Um, <laughs> You know, I, it's interesting though. There was, there's really nothing else in that moment. Yeah, yeah. Like the whole world sort of revolves around. Absolutely. Even that little moment. Are we there yet? Was, yep. Yeah. It's like recognizing we we are family. Yeah. 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 It was actually a nice way. It was written nicely in the script. Like this, this very uh, not dysfunctional fact. This very odd family, or this very there's a really nice word. You know, but calling it a family. Yeah. And um, <laughs> and you know. Pretty, that all happened pretty, to us that we were we were in the room on a Saturday. Parents. Yeah, pretty uh, yeah. Pretty good looking parents, you know. I'm I'm down for that. They you had know. you very young. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, they did. No judgments, no judgments. No, it no, worked no, it's out. Good. It worked out. <laughs> no, that all came to us. That was we were in that we were working a Saturday. And uh You work on weekends? Sometimes. So yeah, we were trying to break that episode on a Saturday God. and then uh that, that moment happened and everybody was like, Oh, that's exactly right. Yeah. Yeah, so you, yeah, it was good. And it's just like a little tiny little moment. But it's the it's closest fun. it's the closest at the end of that episode, it's the closest that Zach gets to Yeah. This this is kind of feels right, feels less awkward for him because yeah. everyone gets him. Everyone everyone, everyone understands, understands what there's total other. honesty, total openness. Yeah. I don't need to put up a front. I can just be I, actually he he becomes is this is a really weird thing to say. He becomes like Almost like more human. Yes. The way that as as he goes through the episode by admitting a monster. Yes. Exactly. Yes. It's exactly. Weird. Yeah. By admitting by being so that thing of like you know once you you know yourself you can you know really be yourself until you right. know yourself and, and accept yourself you're constantly you know putting up uh uh you know putting up guards or putting you know kind of having a different persona around different people. But it's also and, wrapped up in that thing where where you realize I'm not alone. Uh, yes. Absolutely. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Absolutely. Other people go through this. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Um, so that's what I loved about the last episode was like, there wasn't, oh, there was such a gorgeous, like, like, tell me I did good. Like a real, like honest human, like, you know, Dexter, tell me that you approve. And then, you know, he, you, you see him just kind of be as close to normal as, you know, he's, as Zach could possibly be. And then... And then, then he and then you guys got dead. bored of me, and you know, <laughs> and it's just like, okay, well, he's getting too, too, too less interesting. So we should pray off him now. Oh um, uh, yeah, that was yeah. Sorry about that. No, it's it's, it's a good death though. It, uh, it's okay. Um, <laughs> it, you know, getting a plaster cast done uh, or like a molding done of my head yeah. was. Did you ask for one? Did you say uh, no? Uh, they they just said we're doing it, and I was like, great. No, I mean, did you ask for a copy of your head? A copy of my head? <laughs> no, but I should go back and ask. Yeah. They, they probably haven't thrown the other one out. Um, but that was a pretty, pretty intense experience. Yeah. Cause you would do, you, they covered your whole face, straws yeah. up the nose or what? No, they, I mean, the left, they left the nose open, but there was no straws. They just played, I just asked them to play Jay-Z really loudly. Cause <laughs> Which they, record? Uh, Paris, okay. you know, that album. Yeah, yeah. Um, but I, as soon as they cover your ears, it's like, and I'm, I'm claustrophobic. So uh, it's like, yeah. The first time you had that happen? Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I've always wondered how that would be. Cause how long were you, are you covered? 20, about 20 minutes. Oof. Did first, you fall asleep? N- no, but I did, you know, the first three minutes, I was very, very agitated, in, right. you know, internally. Um, and you really, I felt that I, you know. I, did you have to find your inner psychopath? Yeah. No, I had to, I had to find my inner <laughs> peace, definitely. And, you know, what I ended up doing was like, okay, what scene am I working on today? And like really start, you know, distracting myself from right. the fact that and every time I registered, oh, wait. I can't open my eyes and I can't hear properly. I begin to freak out again. Right. Um, so that was a lot of fun. Um, but <laughs> end results worth it. End result is totally worth it. Totally worth it. And it's nice as well because you know, um, it's it's nice to play. It's really nice to play a character in a show that has an impact on like the lead protagonist of the show. Right. Like, and really it shapes who, yeah, shapes, for sure. Zach shapes who Dexter is. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, in the last, you know, whatever episodes of his, of his, you know, uh, existence as a, you know, in, in Dexter, you know, he, he does have eventually 
I, I think it really gets to him, you know, when he is off, you know, when, when, yeah. when he discovers Zach is dead, that he realizes he that, you know, Ill. it's a, it's a, it's a reflection. Ill. I love that. Yes. That was yeah. a really nice way he feels ill, but it's a, it's a reflection of all the way back in episode, in season two, in episode two ten. Yeah. It was, um, trouble with Harry that when, when, uh, Harry <sighs> finally saw what Dexter did and walked in that kill room and sees this body that Harry's reaction is like sickness. You know, I mean, he vomits because he, he can't believe what happened. And so the first time ever, it's sort of like this weird circus reflection of that moment for Dexter. I, 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 I mean, I remember, the, I remember the episode. I totally, yeah. yeah, wow, yeah. He gets ill. That's powerful. You made Dexter ill. <laughs> it, you know, and it was hard work to connect with him. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know, it, it was, it was not an easy, it wasn't an easy, you know, gig. Um, but, if, you know, if... <laughs> eventually you know you feel like this could be so you know this could that there's hope and that's the thing you know zach always travels even in his like darkest moments he he travels with hope like even when he's on the kill table yeah. the hope is that he's going to release and he's going to kill him so that he can be released from feeling like this yeah. and you know at the end of that episode he you know gets in the car with vogel thinking you know everything is going to be yeah everything's going to be great this whole new life is a whole of new me. life yeah, you it's know a, it's a big tragic moment yeah, 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 it is. But you know, I got to got to you know do battle with some of the you know best working actors in in you know in TV, right? So it was a lot of fun to 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 do. You it was know, a lot of fun to watch. It was a, it's a good emotional journey. That yeah, you, that that uh, that Zach that you brought everybody on. Yeah, it was. I I I th I thoroughly enjoyed it. Yeah, yeah. It was, do you mourn his death? Are you going to go back to London? No, New York. <laughs> New York. <laughs> it's gonna be weird. People are gonna people are gonna be like, going, "Hey, hey, you're like you're that like creepy guy who." Yeah. Oh, the, then you see the last. Is he like, hunting? Yes, <laughs> he's after me. Michael talks about that. How sometimes he'll be at a bar or whatever, and people will uh, will sit, will 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 wonder mm, who's he, who's yeah. he stalking. So you're in that weird world of. That's true. That's true. Who's he stalking? Well, uh, that's fun. Great, excellent. This is really going to affect my, <laughs> my, my, my uh, dating life in a really bad way. That's awesome. Be fun for a little while. <laughs> <laughs> I should introduce myself as Zach. Yeah. But yeah. Hello. Who's who's the British guy? Oh no, it's someone else. They just spoke to me. <laughs> um, so where else can people see you then? Like, yeah, you mostly do. You said you mostly do. Uh, New yeah. York State. You're you're in a theater. Group. Yeah. So well, I mean, I um I set up a theater company about three yeah. years ago. So we're a uh, we're a transatlantic arts organization. We uh, collaborate international artists. You know, okay. um, my business partner's from Ireland. Uh, so we uh we we um bring international artists together to do uh, to create work. So we right. took a show over to the Edinburgh Fringe a couple of years ago with some American actors. Um, you know, we do a lot in New York with uh, international artists there. Um. So that's that's my that's my that's my love back in right. in the city. Um, fundamental theater project. Look us up. Uh, okay. And fundamental theater project. Yes, yes, okay. sir. And we, um, so you know, we just had a new play festival in June. You know, so it's been really really busy, uh, really wow. busy with that. Yeah. yeah so, um, but yeah. I, I base myself out of the city where there's a lot of theater. Yeah. So, and that's where I grew up doing. So, you know, doing that, I'm auditioning for, you know, a lot of things right now. So yeah. just waiting for the, waiting for the next amazing gig like this to come along, which, you know, these are, these gigs are pretty, you know, it looked like the, the audition tape, uh, it was just like you back at your house. Oh, you have yeah. not, you don't, yeah. do you know the story about me auditioning for this? I mean, I, I, I watched it. I mean, I, cause it was five. Was so, mine, I and I've and I've got someone who can attest to this. I would I had an hour, uh, you know, break when I got this email uh, at five o'clock, at New York time, yeah. um, saying PM or AM, uh, PM, yeah. saying uh, we got your audition for Dexter. I was like, oh great, and they said, but they need it by, they need it by end of day today, New York time. I was like, that's an hour away, yeah, and you know, it was a pretty pretty dense you know pretty pretty com complex audition scene and i was like i was this close to saying i haven't got time to get stung so i had to be somewhere in an hour and um ah, and, so always go for it is that what you're saying well <laughs> so, you know. have no idea i so i literally i grabbed my partner and said will you please just will you just read this with me and yeah. you know we threw it on tape in like 
Was that on your 30 computer minutes. or was that on a camera? Yeah, no, it was on my laptop. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I couldn't, because I couldn't get my, uh, I didn't have a camera with me. Yeah. No, that's the great, great thing about computers now. And there's a dog, really there's can. a dog walking around in the background. Is <laughs> yeah, that what that was? Because yeah. we, we were house, we were dog sitting at the time. <laughs> so there's like, you know, this isn't, you know, it, you know, dog walking in the background, like, you know, it's fine. I just want the casting director to like see my face yeah. and, you know, and I, I could not, I, I could it was not good. believe it was really good. Well, yeah. I loved, I loved the material. I just, yeah. and I really, I, I dug. You know, I did. I like these complex, you know, kids, young people. Yeah. You know, um, and you know, I did Alan Strang and Equus a couple of years ago, and oh. that was another like. I mean, he's got a whole another level of like religious <laughs> passion to him, but it's it's the same thing, you know. There's there's such a, a a craving, a desire, and it's 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 you know really fun to play. And I recognize that in Zach from that audition scene. Yeah. You know the way he talked about what you know where he was talking about you know what he did and why he enjoys doing it, and I loved it. So that's why I wanted to you know put something on tape at least. Yeah. Um. And worked out. So next thing so, you know, so you're flying actors, to LA. Yeah, actors, self tape, self tape does work. Yeah, yeah don't. Yeah, ab absolutely. Yeah, very. Yeah, that yeah, worked out very. It worked out very well for us over here at yeah. Dexter. Well, and yeah, and thank you, thank you. And then, I, um, so what? If, what? Uh, what things could? We, so you're from? You grew up in? Yeah, you, I grew, you were like an actor your whole life. Is it one yeah, of I was. My my parents put me. Um, my dad was a musician. Uh, and my mum used to dance when she was little. Um, so I used so to it's do... weird, like your dad's Mick Jagger, right? Yeah, my dad's. <laughs> Is that right? That's so amazing. You heard it here first. You no, can't, you can't tell people that. <laughs> I just think you know everybody's the son of Mick a Jagger. Famous, if you're yeah, from brilliant, if you're from excellent <laughs> from England. So who's the mum? So who's the, okay? Mick Jagger's <laughs> dad. Is that, oh wow, wow, we wow. No, so anyway, your dad's a musician. My dad, Sorry. my dad's musician. It's not Mick Jagger. It's not Mick Jagger. I promise. Yeah. Uh, but you know, so it's Ozzy. I was a very <laughs> <laughs> so so I was, that'd be awesome Ozzy, Ozzy, yeah that'd be cool um so you know i was always you know surrounded by you know music and i was a very energetic little kid so they decided to put me in dance school at the age oh, of five that's good dancer. so so i grew up tap dancing and you know seriously like so fred astaire oh, and gene kelly known. no so that, that that's yeah. that's what i do you know i teach uh back in the city i teach tap i teach jazz i choreograph a lot um as a as an extra thing i love it um yeah. you know i yeah, so Fred, you know, all the Fred Astaire and Gene Kelly stuff is like, yeah. you know, kind of where my passion is. I just saw Singing in the Rain last year, and I was like, why have I never watched this? It's it's absolutely it's amazing, and it's an amazing film. It's yeah. it's it's so well done. Um, Gene Kelly is an amazing guy to study, like how he choreographed for film. Fred, right. I mean, Fred Astaire the same way, but you know, they were just oh, absolute geniuses, absolute geniuses. Did you study Xanadu, by the way? I, that's so funny you I'm say that. I'm a big that. fan. Um, not, not even saying that's sarcastic. He's actually wearing nope. roller skates Genuine. right now. I'm on. <laughs> no, Weird, I'm, but we like it. Can you can you sit down? Sit down. Take them off. Take them off. Um, <laughs> um, I, I I had fixated on that movie too, for the record. Did you? All right. Did. Any it's, chance I get to mention Xanadu, I'll take. So. It's 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 <laughs> it's, it's such an interesting choice for gene kelly to have done um but i'm so glad he was a part of it um and michael the, beck it's got the warriors connection yeah no, he thought cool. Mike, michael beck thought he was going to be huge after is it, it was the Olivia, warriors and he went to Olivia xanadu john like yeah. you know oh, yeah she's you know, she's she's cute so yeah, yeah. um physical yeah let's get le <laughs> yes <laughs> did you see the show do you see the stage show no, no I haven't. oh no. so the stage show br is absolutely brilliant absolutely brilliant Ah. Really, really great. So, yes, I did see Xanadu for for, good, for, for, for studying purposes. Yes. So you moved on from dancing. So yeah, I was I was in dance school at the age of five. Um, so I started doing musicals. My, you know, my the the theatre company that was attached to the dance school they used to do musicals. You know, every year. So you know, I, you know, join in with those. Did like you know, <laughs> so seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Yeah, doing musicals every summer. Yeah, and... you know, King and I, Oliver. You yeah. know, half a sixpence. All the you know, all the you know. So you knew at a young street. age you wanted this is what you oh, wanted absolutely. to do. Oh yeah, I I popped out the womb and was like yo like you know, put right put me on stage. I I loved uh -huh. it. You know, I loved love entertaining. Um, so you know, it wasn't until I moved to um my college in 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 the UK um to study. It was it was musical theatre uh, uh, performance, but they had a, a very very strong acting program there, right. and I really started to find a passion for for Shakespeare. Actually, uh, um, I heard of that. You know, yeah, he's 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 all right. You know, he's he's, the he's bard. done a few the Bard. You know, uh, so I you know started to really enjoy that, and then I got a, 
I, you know, was auditioning to go to schools in London, and then I had an opportunity to do a play that was actually coming to America for a little bit. Um, the so, Eddie Murphy movie. Sorry, sorry, no, I think was coming that? to America. Sorry. <laughs> um, so did that, and while I was over in New York, my director just said, "You, you know, you do musical theatre. You know, if you want to study, I think New York could be the right place for right. you." So you know, I auditioned yeah, a couple of places. Going on there. Yeah, they got this thing called the Broadway, and you know, it's you know, it's it's pretty flash. Um, they got some good stuff there. So so I moved to New York to to study when I was nineteen. Oh, okay. So so I've been there for about six and a half years now. So things are going well. Yeah, you no, know, it's, it's it's yeah. Working, what what could people see hard. you in? Uh... Like as far as TV movies, what so far? TV. You said you well, did a couple TV. Yeah, I I did a movie a couple of a couple of years ago, which is still still to, still to be released. Um, okay. Actually, uh, uh, Zasha Mamet, who is in Girls. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, we great. yeah we did we played opposite each other. Played her oh, played yeah. her love interest in that, which was fun. And Aiden Quinn was her dad, and Virginia oh, wow. Madsen was her another mom. another dancer, right? Aiden Quinn right? is a dancer. Well, he's a theater guy. Yeah. He, yeah, he, 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 what, he dances? I don't know. Oh, he probably, you know, pro put attached. I might, be, I might be getting confused with Barishnikov. Yes, you probably <laughs> are, but, you know, he's he's good as well. Um, and, you know, Olympia Dukakis was oh, Sasha's wow. grand. So that was a lot of fun to do. Um, so, um, and then I did I did a, sh- a TV show called Zero Hour on ABC. Oh, yeah, yeah. Which they'll be showing um, that in the summer as well. So actually, probably about, this, probably about now as well. Um, and, yeah, apart from that, as of right now, just you know, a lot more, lot more theater stuff. But I'm trying to, trying to dig into the TV film world. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. It's quick it re- and, it really quick is and fast and well, yeah, and it pays pretty good. It's 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 a uh, it's a lot of hurry up and wait. And yeah, uh, so yeah, a lot um, of listening to Jay Z loud. Yes, in your, yeah, uh, in your every time, please, please. Well, hey man, thanks so much for coming in. Uh, this was uh, I love this sort of walk through on who Zach was. It was like you knew what you were talking about. Yeah, I, you know, I made up as I went along, but you know, it was I, I felt like I got some good ones out there. <laughs> and it seemed like you, so you enjoyed working with, uh, with oh, I love all those, all these. Uh, such a actors. blessing. So, it's pretty amazing, huh? Yeah, yeah, I feel very, very, very yeah. lucky, very blessed. Me too. Thank I you. Wanna, uh, I also want to. So uh, you're uh, Sam Underwood, not underpants. Not underpants. Just, Do not call him that. Only bullies call me Sam. He underpants. will uh, get out his tap shoes <laughs> and hurt you. Yes, yes, with my tap shoes. <laughs> yeah. You could start a new martial art with tap shoes. That'd be great. That'd be good. I'd watch that movie. We could make that. We could make that a movie. Like you in? Uh, you in? I'll, let me think about it. Okay, you have to think about that. <laughs> That's what you can see me in next, by the way. Uh, so where could we, could you, are you on Twitter or anything like I that? Anything you want to pimp out? Yep. Um, um, on Twitter, I'm at Underwood underscore Sam. Um, Underwood so, underscore Sam. Yep. So last name underscore first name. Right. Um, so yeah, you can, you can follow me on Twitter. Um, and yeah, so that's where you can find out what you're going to be in next Absolutely. and find out stuff on, uh, back in New York. And... I've, I've become a bit more of a twit over the last couple of months. <laughs> it's so, a lot of fun, right? Yeah. Uh, so if, yeah, I'm, you can, you can definitely follow me on that. And then what's the name of your theater company? Again? It's fundamental. Yeah. Fundamental theater project. And okay. our Twitter is at theater proj. So P R O J. Man, you kids with your slang. Right? I, I know. love it. It's like a short version of project. Yeah, it's so yeah. mental. It's just proj. You just lose a few, you know, a few letters and you're like, wow. It's like cool. Hi. So Is that what they say still cool? Uh no. We say we say brilliant in England. Brilliant. Swag. Swag. <laughs> uh, I want to thank Rob Rob Galuzzo, aka Rob G at uh what is it? What's yours? What's your Twitter handle again? Uh icons Rob G. It's, yeah. it's it's not always roller skates. No, it's not, not always. You know, and I was gonna follow you, but now I'm done, now I'm having a second. Place. Oh come on! <laughs> All right, I'll follow you. Yeah, <laughs> he's our uh, producer, sound guy for the podcast. Thanks makes everything happen. Me. I'm Scott Reynolds. I'm one of the writers here on the show. You can find me on Twitter at uh, J Scott Amy. You can hit me up. Sometimes I answer questions. I post pictures. Sweet stuff like that. No, well, that's it. Thank that's you so end. much. Yeah, but don't worry. It's gonna happen again and again. Has to happen. Have a good week. Thank you very much. Yeah, sure.